to when you're live. All right. Uh, how are we sounding? Hey, jump on YouTube and see how we're sounding. Oh, wait. No, no. I think we're all right. I think we're sounding good. All right. Oh, there we go. Okay. Now, you ready? Are you I ready? think so. All right. Here we go. When I point to you, you say your name and inner bruise. Inner bruise. Got it. Well, don't forget spindle tap. And spindle tap. Oh, spindle tap. That's, okay. that's your name. That's part of your name. Okay, here we go. <laughs> and we're rolling. The following is a presentation of Stewed Productions. This is Andrew and welcome to Inner Brews. This is Inner Yes, welcome one and all to the show, episode 177 here at Spindle Tap. Just off uh, 59 Little York. What Her- road are we actually? Hirsch. 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 Hirsch Road. Hirsch. Not him. Hirsch. Yeah. Andrew, how are you? Good. Good. Thank you for uh, taking the time to sit down. You've been busy all morning as we were here. Oh, yeah. Brewing. Mm-hmm. Brewing. What are you brewing today? Brewing a five percent tint, which is what we've got in our glasses in front. Which of Which we have in our glasses. Okay. Now, so tinty. It is right. Mm-hmm. You can't even see through. That's how. I, I think it's the point. Yeah. <laughs> All right. Mm. That's good. I'm gonna set this. Okay. Let's set the groundwork for everybody. Uh, last time we were here was 2015, right after Smell Tap had opened. That's forever ago, actually, especially after the. Spindle Tap has been through, it's like they started as a caterpillar, a beer making caterpillar, yeah. and now they've you know, unfurled your wings to this that's, badass. That's a pretty good metaphor. Yeah. I like that. This badass <laughs> hop. A beer to kill, beer to pillar. Uh, a a hopper fly. <laughs> but I don't know. Anyway, this now you've, it's like you've come in, you've figured out like what your, your voice or something. No, but at some point you guys discovered hazy beers and just started killing it. Yeah. Like, mm-hmm. what? Take me through that because it seems like it just kind of happened. Like the whole hazy, ne- nipa, juicy, all that. It just it, it's it's like it's it just kind of yeah. morphed over time. I don't know where it came from. Yeah, I mean, I think I mean obviously Alchemist and all those guys in the Northeast were yeah. doing these beers that you know drink it from the can, so you can't see that's actually hazy stuff like that. Oh, uh, really? Yeah. Uh, like I think Topper like drinking in the can. Yeah, I think huh. it's because they were scared people are gonna say, "Oh, it's hazy. You can't oh, drink that." But uh. I think uh, owners Brody, Dave, and Head Brewer Garrison, they kind of saw these people lining, like, how do we get lines? Like, what yeah. they got up there, like, for our beer? And they kind of just did some research. Uh, yeah. Garrison, our head brewer, he's kind of the creative genius behind it. Uh, just got the water chemistry down, stuff like that, hop, hop profiles down, and uh, really just dialed in that hazy IPA. Uh, first one was done about a year and a half ago. Yeah. Actually, it was my first. Brew day was a oh, yeah. Houston Hayes batch one. Yeah. Nice. So that was a lot of fun to be a part of. And I was like, I didn't have a hazy beer before that beer. So oh, yeah, it's it's sure. one of those phenomenon in the like that just kind of I don't know, it just kind of happened. Yeah. Like no, but I, I didn't. Not it's not like I I, I should have known. I it. watch the industry and <laughs> can usually dial in. The, but <laughs> it was it's not like a typical trend. Yeah. Like you could kind of see the trends. Like it, you know, and back in the nineties, it was like brown ales and amber ales. And then people figured out, and then stouts or whatever. And then people figured out IPAs. And then it was barrel aged. And then it was funky stuff. And then I don't know, just hazy IPAs just kind of came in and just was like, yeah, <laughs> hazy bitches. We're and here. Just, it's like, here. yeah. And man, and you guys, my fat fly is about to get drunk too. Uh, man, I don't know. I don't know what it is about what y'all are doing, but you're doing it right. So how many, how many of these IPAs? Double IPAs, all of these. How many have you done so far? Can you? Um, it's a I think on Untapped there are sixteen mm, hazy IPAs. Wow. Huh. As as far as yet, they're all different. Yeah. Wow, that's sixteen. Yeah, that's okay. So a lot different. Like mostly hop hop combinations is gonna be the big difference between them. Wow. Okay. Uh, w- one thing, like okay. I don't, okay, so take me through like a just a hazy IPA kind of setup. Like what's, what differentiates them from just your, you know, not typical, just, you know, a, a traditional IPA. Traditional, yeah. yeah. Um, I think part of it starts with the water chemistry mm-hmm. being like, uh, a lot of people like, like to use that higher calcium kind of stuff like that, okay. uh, kind of bruise just gives you that softer mouth feel off the bat. Yeah. Uh, higher calcium in the water will just give you like a pillowy soft mouth feel of the water profile. Uh, I think it just starts there. A lot of, you know, a lot of chemistry, a lot of science goes into the, making these hazies. Mm-hmm. Uh, 
or just knowing the science of brewing, basically. Not, and then uh, the mash grain bills mm. uh, typically use flaked oats and flaked wheat, which have high, high protein concentrations. Yeah. So opposed to like just like an IPA, won't just they use the base malts and care foam and you know any modified malts you want to do to darken up the color or anything like that. But for the most part, hazy IPAs big part of the bill is going to be that those flaked oats, flaked wheat, flaked oats. Like oaks, oats, 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 yes. oats. Oats. <laughs> oats, which give kind of that a creamy like oats traditionally. Like if you think like an oatmeal stout, mm-hmm. very like uh, just yeah, they're gonna be higher in silky. proteins than your other grains stuff like that. So yeah. that's what you're gonna see in suspension, and that's okay. what you're gonna have so in here. Is the are the grains uh, and oats sucking stuff out or putting stuff in? Putting stuff in. Okay, and that's the that's part. Of, that's part of the in? haze. Like, oh, that's like what protein, that proteins easy. and stuff like that okay. from that grain. So this is one of the few beers with oats and grains in it. I mean, there's a bunch that have uh, it. Usually, customers like stouts would have that, but uh, the yeah. IPAs Some, usually didn't. Yeah. Uh-huh. I, was like, uh, I don't know if any that did before this. Now, up in like Hetty, you know, where they were making Hetty Topper and stuff, did they, was that the water chemistry something that they. I think it's just natural. Natural, natural kind of in that area just has that kind of mouthfeel you're looking for. So hmm. it's like the next Burton on Trent or. Yeah, pills I, I, probably. Whatever. I don't know. I like, so. that, okay, so that was the thing. Burton on Trent Go was on. where the pale ale originally came from. Okay, and so mm-hmm. there was the water chemi- Like back in the day, you yeah. couldn't doctor up your water that much because really? they just didn't know how, oh. or they didn't have the means to do it. Same thing with uh, Pilsen, where Pilsner came. It has very yeah. soft water there. Huh. So that's why the hop character in the pale ale is what it is, mm-hmm. and then Pilsen, like Pilsners, are so crisp. Okay. I so, did not know that. Yes. So it was a big part of it was water, yeah. right? So region, region used to matter a lot more than it does these days. Yeah. And I think, it, well, it seems that with like New England IPA, what's the the official term is, they have, is it hazy um, IPA? Like, I don't know what the Brewers Association Well, if you're in New England, they just call them IPAs. Yeah. Okay. I <laughs> think. Or juicy IPAs or hazy IPAs. I think that it's all uh, interchangeable for the most part. Everybody knows oh. what we're talking about. You so, say New England, hazy. I think we call ours uh, hazy IPAs, not New England. Okay. Yeah. Because we're not in New England. Right. Yeah. We're better. You know, my favorite part of this beer so far is the burps <laughs> are delicious, <laughs> man. Get that flavor hoppy, again. Right? It all comes back. Yeah. It's yeah. good. It sticks around. Yeah, it does. So, okay. So, there's elements of hazy IPAs. One, there's the haze, I mean, the visual. Oh, right? yeah. Um, there's also the, there's the hop, I, I Preston called it like hop burn or whatever. Like, there's some of them have a lot harsher, like the, I feel like the hops are kind of grabbing your throat. Just like as you're going down. Yeah, that can I can I that can do, be a lot of things. Like just the type of hop. Sometimes uh, mm-hmm. I know Galaxy is kind of a little bitey for me, a little peppery, bitey kind of pineapple yeah. flavors. Versus this is just a citra, so which is always everybody it's, likes citra. Yeah, uh, and it, I don't. And it's, it, just, it's it's there. Like there's like a. It reminded me to ask about it, but it's not really yeah. there. Like I've had it. Yeah, a little bit of the conditioning. If you get some of that hot particulate in there, like that vegetable matter, that mm-hmm. you, if you don't let them condition long enough, you can yeah. get that kind of burn. And so people usually listen to them on a week. I know mm-hmm. I, I don't mind the burn, but yeah, <laughs> not a yeah. fan. Not, not <laughs> the a fan burn. Of the burn. Yeah, I go and it depends. Oh really? Yeah. Usually, like if you haven't like when you're dry hopping and stuff like that, you're gonna have lots of stuff floaties and stuff like that mm-hmm. huh. until you crash the beer, and yeah. then that will kind of mellow it out a little bit more. Yeah, I um. Were you waving at some oh, fly? I thought you were waving <laughs> no, at somebody. Like, I was like, "Who's coming in?" Hi, fly. Are you showing off your ring? Mike went to the game last <laughs> night. Got oh, that replica ring. Oh, Astros that ring. championship. Can ring. you see it? <laughs> yeah. Can you see it? How he, shiny is it? Yeah, no, it's it's. It be you can see it on the YouTube stream. You should have. Why didn't you dust it before you got on the show? Let's, there you go. <laughs> Dip it in the beer. <laughs> oh, now we're talking. Don't do it. Should in. help. I'm not. <laughs> Drink the beer. Anyway, um, what was I saying? Hot burn. Burn, oh, hot burn, hot, hot burn. Hot burn. Just, these are massively hop beers, so yeah. you're gonna you're gonna end up a little bit of that burn. But you're saying like hop variety. Plays I think I think that. I think it does. Uh, at least from our experience, I, I mostly just I don't have a lot of science experience, but like a lot of the anecdotal experience, just brewing the beers. Yeah, is what I've seen. Uh, definitely the different uh, st- uh varieties of hops can have more burn, less burn. It's a it's an element that I like with classic West Coast. IPAs, like someone, they felt like they were pulling the enamel off your teeth. Like, yeah. Mm-hmm. And like, and I was like, well, I don't think, I don't know if I like that or mm-hmm. not. But then I'd be sitting there wanting to be like, well, I, I kind of I want one of those. Yeah. <laughs> Same thing with the burn. Sometimes I'm just like, my throat's too, the end burn, too neutral right now. <laughs> <laughs> I want to, I want to, I, I don't want somebody to punch me in the throat, but this is kind of, this is, <laughs> and this is what I, I'm going for. Okay. So anyway, so five, 5% tent. So would, oh. 
would the burn be like if this were to be bottled or canned or whatever and i wait another month would it be a more of a burn because i've noticed that when i get ipas in the store that is more it feels like there's more burns that's just uh, what i'm getting well, i guess what you're getting from the can is like it's in the can so if yeah. it's there it's gonna be there unless you, if you roll it around i think you'll stir up if anything's in oh, the really beer, it's gonna drop out so i would if you pour it slowly i like, it's probably not gonna get the burn unless but if you like roll some people roll their beers i don't really? know and stuff like that i don't that Maybe. like a half of ice oh really oh yeah. you're supposed to roll a half of ice in? well if okay so it's bottled right there was sure. there was yeast particulate in the yeah. bottom yeah and so you would did pour to that. the last to the eeps like you would say uh-huh. but not drink uh-huh. you know and then you'd roll it and then pour that on top huh on the head really? ideally these beers don't have any of that stuff in it these are conditioned beers uh, that's what people, a lot of people don't understand too i think like uh-huh. these are actually conditioned cold crashed everything drops out that we want to drop out huh. that that haze is permanent it's not going anywhere huh. yeah cool okay. permanent haze yeah there you go like houston there's a permanent <laughs> haze. <laughs> that's what okay so that's one theory i have like we're like houston area you guys first on the list making the best hazy ipas mm-hmm. i think you know Houston is, is now. Is there another brewery that's making them? There, are, everybody's making. Oh, is that that's now uh, the but thing the, because but of Tap is a number one, like yeah. as far as variety and just yeah quantity. And then and then I, I don't know, like the the buzz. Yeah, sure. That's, 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 a, sure. that's yeah. a pun. Beer pun. Beer buzz. Beer buzz. Got it. Okay. Anyway, <laughs> nailed it. My theory is we live in a hazy place. Mm-hmm. Lots of humidity. Mm-hmm. Word. Oil refineries. Word. I don't know. Whatever. Whatever else makes a place hazy. I don't know. If there's something that makes it work. I don't know. The mental thing. Greenhouse gases. Yeah. Sure. Yeah, how much? What's the parts per million on like? I mean, there's CO2. That's like a greenhouse gas, right? Sure. Yeah. Sure. There I you go. I, I'm most CO2 <laughs> is parts uh, parts per billion of CO2. I don't know about that. Yeah. Do you have any like sulfur dioxide in here, or what are what are the other greenhouse gases? <laughs> I don't know. <laughs> Shouldn't be any sulfur dioxide. <laughs> acid ra- made with pure acid rain. Is that what we're? <laughs> I don't know. Anyway, they're delicious beer. This is a delicious beer. So tell us about this beer in particular. You said Citra. Yes. So this is a all Citra dry hopped IPA. Uh, it's only five percent ABV. Not supposed to be confused with the name. Just the name and the uh, ABV kind of coincided yeah. nicely. A little nice. seren- serendip- serendipitous. A little planned. A little yeah. bit of both. Okay. Nice. Uh, yeah. Just all Citra. Just. It's basically a. Uh, you ever had heavy hands, which is our. I don't think I have. Actually, this is that. Okay. Not any oh. less hops in this than there is in my PA. It's just a different. It's just a different ABV and. Small profile. Oh, yeah. Okay. Um, what was I going to ask? I just had something and then I'm like, oh. But but it's the same. It's the same citrus hops? Yeah. It's hopping. Mm-hmm. Like hop additions are done. Uh, so uh, typically, I, I've seen. So a lot of people will cool their wort. Uh, before they add their hop additions, like there's no bitterness in these beers. That's why you don't get any bitterness on these mm. juicy, hazy IPAs. It's because they're not always adding bittering hops anymore. People, I've seen people cool their wort down to like 170 before. Mm. Uh, we do a little differently. We'll, we'll just kind of naturally cool it and then add them during Whirlpool. It's mm. so a bunch of Whirlpool hops, is kind of what the idea is, which okay. is uh, basically after boil. Yeah. Uh, that's when you're having all your hop additions. And even then, that's only. Maybe ten percent of your hop additions before the dry hop. Okay, so once at one seventy, there's no. You're not gonna have like you're gonna have any uh, uh, isomerization of those hops Isomer- anymore or those alpha acids. Yeah, yeah. isomerization. Oh, I think I've been saying aromatization for isomerization like two years. You know? <laughs> Rookie. It's been a while since I read that book. <laughs> yeah, I know what you mean. That hops books for the love of hops. Stan, Is that what it's called? Stan Hieronymus. No kidding. You should read it. I should. He he's a writer. It's a good book. Have you ever read it? I've yeah. not. It's worth the read. Huh. It's more like a story. You do an audio audible audible version? I don't think so. No. Now, it's, now, not to be confused with the water book, which would be more applicable to hazy IPAs. Is that right? Because all the water can. Oh yeah, right? that, yeah, I haven't read that one yet either. There's a water book. Yeah, there's one have. on the just for. There's beer one for making. Of course. Water hops. Mm-hmm. Well, it's the yeah, it's the Malt four main ingredients. Yeast. Yeah. Wow. Yeah, it's a four volume set. That's awesome. Mm-hmm. I got it. I'll let you borrow it. Do John, you? John Palmer did the water book. Oh, even home brewers need to, the water information. How can you change your water at home? You add, dude. We got to get you home brewing. Uh, what? I just, I just use Ozarko. Uh, you just said <laughs> that it was hard to change your water. How long? No, ago no, was no, that? no, no. Back in the day, hundreds How, of years. Oh, hundreds of years ago. ago. Oh, I thought we were talking <laughs> no. about like the eighties. It was hard to change. Well, your water. we didn't think about it. You didn't. Nobody oh, home brewed in the eighties. Nobody. Well, there were some. There was. Charlie Papazian so, and like seven other guys. So they make little packets <laughs> that you can change the chemistry. 
She yeah, might, really? salts this one. Have you ever done that? No. Oh. Oh, it's time, right? Yeah, he needs to get on that. I level. think you've made it. How many have you made now? You got to start working on your water. Isn't it time? Yeah. Uh, no, I'm not ready for that. Our water's garbage, isn't it here? Pretty much. Well, he's using, those, he's using filtered water. So. Oh, you are using filtered water. Oh, I didn't know that. Yeah. I just it's like here, y'all probably have like a. Oh, yeah, uh, RO system. RO system. Oh, yeah. Yeah. Reverse osmosis. I, I think I've used some of that, though. Kyle, he's, 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 he's done some packets. of that RO. Yeah. Strip it down to nothing. Yeah. Yeah. He's shed. Oh. Shed. <laughs> That's amazing. <laughs> we, need, we need to do a sh- no doubt. Oh, we want to do. Oh, are we going to do? Do you want to? We'll hear. Um, okay, so lunch. Lunch. <laughs> yeah, pretty much. It was something else with the other. Um, how long have you been here at Spindletop? Uh, I've been here about a year and a half now. Okay, and you said this was your first commercial brewing. It job. is. You, yes. You, you did home brewing. Yeah, I maybe made like five batches. Yeah. Uh, oh. Home brew just. But I just like I like the process, and, I, yeah. and so what size? Five gallons. Yeah. Just nothing. Oh, Del Falco's, you know. Yeah, you're asking about his batch size, no, right? Of the, no. Oh. <laughs> Good. Yes, I am. <laughs> so and okay, and then, so, I'm a mechanical engineer by yeah. school oh, schooling. Oh, cool. So just I like the process yeah. more than anything. I like, I prefer more than being creative. Honestly, I like just producing. Yeah, that's I, I see that. There's definitely. A lot of engineering brains. That's a that's a that's a brain. Yeah, I don't I don't have that in this industry, mm-hmm. and it works because y'all make amazing beer, right? Uh, I think that helps. I think having a good palate, good, and doesn't taste as good as big. Mm. Usually, what you like, other people are gonna like. Hopefully, that's true. Sure. sure, broccoli. I love broccoli. Broccoli beers. <laughs> Do it. Uh, Super. Might as well make fart Brussels sprout beers. <laughs> Brussels put, fart beer. If you put bacon on them. Uh, all right. Now, the only ones I've ever had. Are we going to go to Brussels right? Because I will. Perry Steakhouse makes the best Brussels sprouts. They're amazing. Nope. Are they? False. They are. They're... Who makes the best Brussels sprouts, Mike? I like platypuses. Oh, I haven't had platypuses. I, I have to compare the two. Yeah, delicious. Game yeah, on. I, platypus. <laughs> I don't have a way in on Perry's. Brussels sprouts. <laughs> do you like to break down like chemical analysis of Brussels sprouts I don't versus know that. a hop? Uh, they look similar. They do. They have a That's similar true. shape. I don't I think, think it's a sprout it. Dry sprout. I don't know about that one. Yeah. Either. What would you, how would you put, you wouldn't want to put raw Brussels sprouts into it. You're hanging out with if they love the fart beer. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> what What could we name it though? Let's look at the list of names here. Dust in the wind? <laughs> I don't know if it's Farts in the wind? I think it'd be, a, it's wet. The wind. Yeah. <laughs> wet wind. Swamp ass. Wet wind. Swamp ass. There you Swamp go. Swamp ass. Swamp Be- as. Swamp you, ass. You couldn't put ass on the can. At, it may, It'd get it, strict regulations we have no, here. I mean, swampy AF. Ah, swampy AF. That's swampy it. Swampy AF. Nailed it. Yes. Dry, uh, wet, hopped, wet, wet sprouted, sprouted. PA. It'd be a BPA. BPA. Or BSPA. S- Is Brussels sprout one word? Sweaty or AF. <laughs> Sweaty un- undercarriage. PA. Sweaty undercarriage. <laughs> yeah, I don't know. That's going in a weird direction. It's going a weird, weird, weird. Yeah, I think we lost that one. Yeah, I don't. I like okay, it. some, some. Um, that's why it. the creative types have to be held in in check. Yes, <laughs> it's good to have a palate, good yeah. palate. And yeah. our, our head brewer Garrison has a great palate, and he he know, he's a great cook as long with the great brewer. Yeah, uh, Garrison, uh, I'm amazed by the first time. This is just to show. Go go look at Spindle Tap's Facebook page. When we were here the first time, short hair, no beard. <laughs> now, three years, th- almost three years, yeah. and it's. Noah length beard. Okay, and that makes sense. Hair too. I don't know how long Noah's hair. See, is. a year and a half starter beard. Yeah, that's how that's, it works. The more beard you brew, yeah. the more it comes. Yeah, in. I think so. <laughs> we hot. we have video to prove it. Yeah, yeah, <laughs> yeah. It's true. Now mine hasn't, but I'm not in a brewery every day. Uh, when's the last time you even home brewed, my friend? It's been a while. Hmm? I do I do grow my uh, water chemistry when I did? <laughs> oh, the burn! Yeah, <laughs> that was a shot across the bow. There. What are you going to do about that? You know, add some. Some stuff gonna, to your I'm waters. S- I'm still going to use Ozarka water. Is that what you're using? Yeah. Oh, a little plug. That's the thing. Little you got to know where you're starting at and then what you're sure. trying to obtain. You can't just arbitrarily throw stuff into your water. I mean, he's not using, uh, you're not using syrup anymore, right? No. Weren't you using syrup? Yeah. Extract? It depends yeah. on the beer. Isn't it better to use the actual stuff? No, not necessarily. Isn't it's not it? better. It's just different. Yeah. It's More better. old school? You homebrewed. 
You have I, mostly extract brews. It's a small apartment, so I'm yeah. not going to try to do my all grain all right. batches. Yeah, if you don't have Space. all day, and you just need to get some beer made. Now I made cider. Well, actually, it's been a while since I've made some cider too. So cider's easy. Is it? Just throw some juice in a. You use the apples. Huh? What about going to an apple orchard, picking the apples, smashing them? You could do that. You could do that. But how far away is the closest orchard? In Texas, minutes away. Apples? <laughs> Several minutes. We don't grow apples around here. Are you sure? Yes. Oh, there's got to be one. No. In the area. No, not an apple orchard. We in don't. The... We don't have the cold snaps. Is that what you need? Cold yeah. snaps? Yeah. Fruit So that maybe that actually. Huh? You oh yeah. A, you need a cold snap for hops too. Yeah. Well, you can mm-hmm. grow hops here, but then they they burn out pretty. Quick. Yeah. You tried, didn't yeah. you? I did. In your backyard? I didn't just try. Did it not work out? Oh, it did work out. <laughs> yeah. And I grew, you attempted it? Yeah. I had like four different varieties. All the Was seeds. it successful? To find su- success. Did you ever make a beer with it? No. Oh, see, that's... They're pretty plants, and they took up the whole back fence. Oh, yeah. But then they just kind of, they get burnt out. And they don't come back? Because you didn't... No, they do come back, but they just come down, like, down to the ground. Uh, so you have, like, this beautiful green, they call them vines, right? Yeah, they're yeah. vines, yeah. And then they just grow up your entire vines, fence. Yeah. So I had Ooh. Citra... No, Centennial, Citra, Cascade, and Chinook, all the seas. Yeah. And they did pretty good. The Cascade did pretty good. And Chinook. What was the next step Maybe. when yeah. they grew? How come you, you had didn't them. What, why didn't you take them, them off? Yeah, pass them along. They're just, there weren't that many cones on them. Oh, I see. There were some, and I would usually just smell them. Yeah. But it wasn't enough to go out there and pick them and like say, hey, use these 18 <laughs> cones. <in> your- <laughs> I, I want to picture you outside. You're like, <laughs> I would do that. You rub them, oh, and you get all that yellow, all that resin, and now oils, I can, and now I don't even need coffee. No. Is that your morning huff? Yeah, <laughs> your morning huff, huff. But okay, but yeah, at the end of the season, like by July or August, they're just brown. Oh, really? Everything's just cooked. Oh, so how long did you have to sniff them to huff them before it was over? Yeah, you had a, a solid month of huffing. Yeah, huffing the hops. Yeah, and then I, huff, then they get huff, old huffing? and start to smell like cheese. Yeah. Weird. Oh yeah. Mm. Nothing wrong with that. Yeah, it's a weird cheese. cheese. No, that's cheese not. not I love no, cheese. It's not a good. It's, oh, bad cheese. It's not good. Not oh, the smell of bad cheese without the great taste of bad cheese. Yes, I see. I see. Yeah, that underarm kind of. Yeah. yeah. You know, weird. Smells good. Like, tastes great. Homeless, hobo type essence. Mm. Essence of hobo. Essence of hobo. It's it's in that it's in that genre for like, sure. Uh, cigarettes. No cigarettes. And unicorns. Just like. You know. Under a bridge for three weeks, kind of <laughs> fresh, something funk, <laughs> a little funky. But anyway, so we took all those down. They'll grow. Yeah, they're just, just not. You got to. I don't know. I don't know if you have to shade them the right time of the day, right part of the year. I don't know. I never tried. I don't have a green thumb at all. No, well, they'll, dude, they'll they'll grow. The <laughs> yeah. plant themselves will grow like crazy. They'll grow up to like twenty feet tall. Something to let them grow up. Yeah, yeah. Oh, is that what? How they're grown? Yeah, they grow. Yeah, I think a uh, back pew. Are they growing something? They grow some oh, are they? Yeah. yeah. And oh, they'll man. grow they'll grow up these the line that you just train them around at first and they'll kind of huh. grab it and then they'll just mm-hmm. psh, psh, psh. cool. And they're cool looking plants. I love the way oh, they yeah. look. They're beautiful, but and you can get some more decorative like I guess um uh, what's the word? Varietal? Oh yeah. Well, like, is the galaxy a prettier one? Oh, I don't Which know about that. Earlier. But there's some that are just they don't really produce cones as much as they're just the plant and they're oh, yeah. more hardy for this area. Okay. Yeah. Yeah. So you made it work. Apples. That's what we were at. Apples you can't grow here. You just there's said like, the hops need cold snaps and so do apples. Hmm? Right. And you didn't get good hops. There's, oh, you there's, didn't. There's two varieties of apple. I've looked into this. Oh, I you want, have. I, yes, I nerded out for cider for a while. <laughs> yeah. I'm, I'm, Go on. I have an inner cider. like Home cider, bro. A cider maker in wanting to get out. There's some great ciders out there. There are. Mm-hmm. And I don't I don't even think. I don't know that cider. Will have, it won't be on the level of beer. But You I, don't think so? I just, uh, I, it's too niche. What's the best Houston cidery? Is there one Houston anymore? Houston Cider Company? Uh, that's yeah. what I would say. Yeah, I, I like them. Yeah. They're, they can or bottle? No. I it's it's town and cities. It's the same. Oh, yeah. Next door, right? Yeah, they're right. Same yeah, that's right. Same 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 same. Same. Oh, yeah, 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 yeah. I've only been there. I didn't know that. I forgot they had There's a, a new one coming down in that area. HTX oh, yeah? Cider Company. Oh, cool. I've seen them, I think. Yeah, they're not open yet, but it's in that. It's right down there by Holler, and there's going to be a... What's, there's a... There's a New Orleans brewery opening up there. I forget the name. Anyway, it's a whole new, like, you yeah. know how, you remember Holler? Have you been to Holler? Did you ever get to go I to Holler? I don't think I got to go to Holler. I missed this one last time, too. Arch District, right? And it's got this long strip of whatever. Okay. Anyway, they're doing another yeah. facility behind. HDX will be back there. Somewhere. Cool. And there's Duo down Dickinson. Somewhere. That's awesome. 
Dickens Insider. Dick Insider. Yeah, I remember. <laughs> Is that really going to be the name of it? No, no. It's, it's, <laughs> oh, that's it's too bad. Duo Winery Insider. That's too bad. It's, it's in Dickinson. <laughs> it should be called Dick Insider. Dick Insider. No, that, that's, an old, that's an old amazing. radio bit. You remember that? I do, but okay. that would have been amazing if like they tried the to get away with it. Yeah. Well, yeah. So, Dick anyway. Insider. It's... um. <laughs> anyway, and that, as far as other side, uh, there may be another cider in. Why, that Brash? That'd be Brash's cidery, <laughs> Dickens cider. <laughs> no, we're in Dickinson. It's it's why that's Maybe. why we're named this. I think theirs would just be like uh, uh, Eda Apple Apple. Anyway, there's only two varieties of apples that'll grow <laughs> in the Houston area. And okay, they're not, and they're, oh, they're not cider. They're very small. I don't know if they are or not. Uh, it's, just, it's very hard to grow. Hmm. So you have to go up to Arkansas, northern Arkansas, and up. Michigan is really good. That's okay. that's the kind of area we're talking about. New York. Okay. Oh, well, so long cold snaps. Yeah. Deep. Huh. Washington apples. You've heard of Washington. Of course, California. Of course. course. Yeah. Different varieties need different whatever. But you're wanting cider sure. apples, not fruit, like not sweet. What's apples. A, what is a cider apple? They're more tart. Last thing. La- lots of tannin. Well, it depends, but they, they're not. They're real hard. Oh, yeah. And you wouldn't want to eat. Just sit there and eat so one. red or green? They're all colors. Oh, really? Oh. Dude, don't even. There's so many varieties of apples. That's like a whole other episode. There? Yeah. yeah. Go to Whole Foods. I'm just trying <laughs> yeah, to go to Whole Foods. There's like 17 right there. I know there. a few apples myself. Jazz. Go Pink on. Lady. Honey Crisp. Macintosh. Fuji, Gala. Gala. This dude, Red Delicious. Yellow Delicious. I, I love apples. Granny Smith. Granny Smith. Yeah. Don't even front. Granny Smith. What's up? Did I say Honey Crisp? Yep. I only know two apples. That's why I got them out no, before you, you said Macintosh? That, that's the name of the company. That's why they named it that. Yeah, I know. What are we talking about? What do we got? I dry hopped a cider once with Citra. That'd be pretty good. Yeah, it was good. Really? It was, yeah. It was good. Would it be? It, yes, it was. Why haven't they? Why isn't uh, what our favorite ones are Bishop? Well, my favorite ones are Bishop, but East Ciders, right? Austin. Have they ever dry hopped a cider? Do you think know. that it, if it was good? I don't know. They'd have done it. I don't know. Right? I don't know. I would look more to Argus and uh, Texas Keeper. Oh, I've heard of both of those, but never had them. You need to get on your. Yeah. Your cider well, game is weak, bro. Well, they have them on the. They have them at the Whole Foods. Those are the more expensive ones. They only come in the big one. Yeah. Right. So, well, Argus has cans. Oh, do they? Oh, I haven't seen that. You've had one at my house. Oh, have I? Probably. Oh, I forget. Hmm. <laughs> Andrew, I don't remember. Do you have any cider thoughts? I uh, don't know much about cider. I like drinking them. I like dry ciders. Really dry ciders. Oh, yeah, that's all too. about. That's opposite spectrum here. Yeah. Sweetie, sweetie ciders. Yeah. Sweeten them up. Yeah. Mm. Maybe. Put oranges in them. It's my jam. Hey, do you like juice? It's true. Dry and maybe anything funky too. Yes. Oh, yeah? yeah. Yeah. Funky. I like funky. There's there's some. Yeah. Some but, funky ciders. Yeah. No kidding. We got yeah, dude. We need to. We got work. I'll to try do. anything. We got work to do. I'll try anything. They're pretty close to sours, so I don't really like sours. Ooh. So you do. Yeah. Yeah. Um, speaking of things that could potentially not well that. I'm looking at your barrels. Funky right. beers come from barrels. I don't know if there's any funky uh, beers in those barrels. Nothing, like nothing in fun. Nothing funk in those. Yeah. What's in the barrels? Uh, so we got one of. So we did an English barley wine. Mm. Uh, hasn't come out yet. Yeah. Uh, in barrels or other guys, but uh, we did an English barley wine. Super excited about that. Got that in bourbon barrels. Mm. It tastes really good. Yeah. Uh, and a Cite Crudo, our mm. Russian Imperial Stout. Yes. We put that in some barrels, bourbon barrels as well. Nice. That's been sitting for since April, and as some that incident since like uh, last December, so okay. Okay. probably pretty close. Cool. And then we did a uh, cocoa pastry stout. We put that in rum barrels. So well, okay, what goes into a pastry stout? So it's just gonna be more. It's gonna be like off like those flaked wheat, lactose. Okay. Uh, I it's not quite a pastry stout. It's kind of just like a cocoa stout, I guess. We did like cocoa powder in the mash, desserty. Yeah. Chocolatey desserty. It's pretty nice in those rum when, barrels. When, yeah. when, when you say you add when lactose is lattice. Added when ac- lactose is added. Yeah. What, what, is that like this this yeast looking stuff, or is it a? Powder? This or is, it a, is a powder. It's like it's a milk sugar. It's just sugar. You're okay. adding it to your boil. Okay. okay. Yeah. Non fermentable. It doesn't ferment though, so it's gonna add sweetness and body without mm. adding any alcohol content. But it goes in during the boil. Uh, you can add it boil. You can add it after the boil too. I think. Uh, I think it can almost add anywhere. It's not gonna ferment, so you can okay. add it right before you package your beer. Honestly. So what would you want to add that to? Oh, I don't know. I, I mean, I've just heard of lactose being added. Yeah. You know, stout type well, that's that stouts and then like a, the milkshake IPAs, which yeah. is like a really? offshoot of the hazy IPAs. They'll add the lactose and vanilla. So you oh. kind of get like a and fruit. Sounds awesome.
you see who's doing a lot of that stuff. Cool. Yeah, they're mad scientists up there too. They are going nuts right it? now. Did y'all do? Have y'all done collaborations? Did, yes. So we did. I think they did three sheets, which was when with Dave was at Whole Foods, and they did yeah. Whole Foods fifty two and yeah. us, yes. and then they did two sheets when Dave went to fifty two. Uh, so now two sheets. Uh, of a funk barrel, like they they did they fucked a barrel and stuff yeah. like that. The collaborations were, were you, it has to be brewed at one place, right? Really? Yeah, I distribute. I don't know much about legal yeah. aspects of that. Yeah, yeah. Most of the time, it's brewed and sold at the same location, and we'll buy a keg for okay. a brew pub here, uh, so we can have guest taps and stuff like that. Okay. So we can serve nice. collabs and other people's beer here. Okay. So you, yeah, I don't think Texas will allow. But we have to purchase it. Like, we buy it. Yeah, I don't think they're allowed to switch because that's distributing. Mm-hmm. Really. So, yeah. When you so if they brewed the like, the collaboration right and they give it B fifty two yeah and they just brought a keg down here and just stuck no it on tap kidding. that'd be considered so there has to be paperwork for it to be okay yeah, and pretty much yeah. that's it. all it is it's a yeah. buy it. yeah it's a buy it they want their they want yeah. their cut sure that's what they want you know government Texas oh Texas but, I mean it's not, the logistics of moving like fermenting beer is not easy anyway so you don't want to oh, really? like. You can brew wort and move the warts, fermenting and carving up. You don't really want to move oh, right. that around to package someplace else. Uh, it's just easier to keep it there, package, get the kegs, and then buy kegs and trade cans or whatever you need, or buy cans. And we're a brew pub, so we have a license to sell cool. other people's beer here. So, cool. Oh, is there food here too? Uh, yeah. Food. Uh, oh. We have a food truck. Oh, nice. Yeah. No. What's that called? Texas Pizzas. Nice. They do uh, Texas barbecue pizzas. Oh, fantastic. Yeah, they'll just park it on side right here? Yeah, they're over there. Uh, actually, Hedberg Garrison and his buddy JJ, they started that. Oh, so that's awesome. That's cool. They do wood fired pizzas. They're really good. You know, if you haven't had them yet, they're I really good. It. Yeah. So, get on that. Delicious. You have a lot of stuff. You got a whole list just from I this do. episode I got it all alone. Right here. Do you? It's right here. Yeah. You do not. No, I don't. <laughs> You have no. to go back and it's all right here, Josh. No, it's not. Came on Tuesday. Came on Thursday. All right. We'd be open. What are we yeah. talking about? Thursday? What are, Thursday. Uh, Thursday. What are Thursday? Tap- yeah, we're Thursdays at noon now. Oh wow. Really? Nice. That's cool. What so, uh, so yeah. Thursday, Thursday, Friday, Friday, Saturday, noon to ten, I believe. And okay. then Sunday is eleven or noon to six. Okay. And then for the late Texans game will stay on, but yeah. sure. My- and just live but yeah, <laughs> little sports don't pass those hours if need be until the game ends. Okay, you usually need, for big college games too. If you know, yeah. and M need a group. So like the like playing. Nebraska game where they're getting beat by uh, Troy. Um, if we have, well, we <laughs> fill this place with the fans we have just in this area. Nebraska fans go big get red. Beat by Troy. If we want to talk about it, hey, fans a fan. It's not like losing to Troy means anything to me. So good. <laughs> Fine. Go to Nebraska. You see what I'm saying? Doesn't matter. Who we lose to? We could lose to four A high school from Texas. Go to Nebraska. I don't care. It doesn't matter. I like. I do like it though when people are like oh, Troy. It doesn't matter to me. Frost advisory. Get ready for it. It's coming. <laughs> yes. Yeah. I mean, I can't talk. My school. Did you've seen the highlight? Uh, right? Oh, that's right. You're in North Texas. Yeah, speaking the of punt return. Did oh, why didn't I think of that? Was, I'm an Arkansas fan, so it's like North Texas destroyed you. Yes. Hilariously that's, enough. Yeah, that's sad. I do like that it was an SEC school that got completely We're destroyed. barely an SEC school this year. I don't <laughs> yeah, even know that they're... Yeah, I don't know yeah, that, that they're... pretty rough. I was actually happy to see that. I forgot. Yeah. That's what I get. Yeah. You were happy to... My yeah. misery or my... I was happy in your misery, yes. Or just the fact that it was an SEC school. Well, happy that Nebraska lost to a, someone that's been good historically at a lower class, yes. Yeah. And then you guys lose to someone who's never really been historically good. True, they've won their conference numerous times. Their conference, Troy's won state national titles. No, they haven't. Haven't they? In the no. in double A and two A. Quit that trying to count. make your loss. Troy's sound. the best school. <laughs> you just said you didn't care. No one knows about because they're about gladiators. The gladiator school. Everyone knows that. Only gladiators go there. No, I don't think it's gladiators. Troy Spartans. Isn't that the same thing? No. All right, Trojans. Trojans, whatever. Same Trojans. Thing. Greek. <laughs> not not gladiators though. Same thing. That's Rome. Totally different thing. That's Russell Crowe. Your th- Brad Pitt is more of a Trojan. Awesome. Yeah. Even better. You, that's you. Oh, well, Brad Pitt over Russell Crowe Russell Crow any day. Peak Russell Crowe? Definitely. Over peak Brad Pitt? Gladiator? Yeah. Gladiator or Troy? Which movie? Well, uh, Gladiator. Yeah, Gladiator. But Fight Club or anything else. Russell Crowe? Russell Crowe's ever done. Beautiful mind. <laughs> <laughs> exactly. Thank you. 
I don't know what else is Russell Crowe. Uh, the nothing Cinderella else. Man. That was good. I wouldn't it was put good. it on. Well, it's not. No, Fight Club. It it's, it's different. There's nothing as good as Fight Club on that level for him. Yeah, Russell Crowe. Yeah, Fight Club's a anyway. You ever consider doing a Fight Club inspired beer? I don't know what it would. Can't talk about it. Uh, I don't. No, I don't think. I don't know. First time it's out. If you're here, you have to drink this, it. These yeah. do punch you in the face a little bit. There you go. You know what I mean? Yeah, they do. These a little bit. I, what would go into a fight with club flavor beer? or with ABV? With, uh, with both. I was like, this is only five percent though. Two. Is that all of this? Yeah, <laughs> it's good. Yeah, beer. It's good. He's tolerance a little low, huh? Weak as void. Well, let's do the other one and see. Uh, yeah, the faded is the eight percent. Faded. So well, is that faded the next one? Right? Yeah. Well, yeah. Double. Yeah. You're saying we need to. Pause it and get check. a refill yes. and see, test your tolerance. How about that? We are. Do, do we all have the empty are glasses? Yeah, I, I think we do. Yeah. Yeah. Okay, we'll pause. Let's pause. We'll pause and, and, and oh, and, and by painted. the way, I oh, never mind. We'll talk about that in the break. I'll tell you what Jeffrey said about you. Let's, Let's do get it. Faded. I saw it. In your sweet side. I all saw right. it. <laughs> basically, basically, he was saying. All right, we'll pause Most it. Of us are. We'll be back with refills. Okay. Everybody watching on YouTube's. All right. I'll just talk. What do we, what are we getting? I'm gonna, I was going to get poor faded. Okay, cool. All right. Yeah. yeah sure. I mean, no, yeah. Somebody, with what we're doing. somebody with some hands. Yeah, Mike, go. Use your hands. No, here. You're not? Oh, you're gonna sit. Well, somebody needs to sit and talk with me. We'll talk home, bro. Okay. Cool. I don't know. Are we? Okay. I'm going to sit here and talk. You got his? Yeah. Okay. All right. Thank you. Thank you. All right. So, hey, everybody. Hey, Jeffrey. Hey, uh, who else is on here? So, oh, what Schomburg? did he say? Tell me. He's not here. Oh, he called, uh, he called Schomburg uh, basic. <laughs> He's a basic white girl. Uh, because he likes sweet ciders, sweet cider with orange. He's not a basic wagyu, he's a basic bitch. (laughs) It's going out of YouTube, man. I don't know. Is that okay to say? Yes, it is. Okay, you don't like it, don't listen, right? Yeah, I guess. I guess. Um, hey, everybody, if there's anybody else watching currently, um, how's our signal and how's our did you listen to the sound of this thing to see how it was sounding? Uh, he watched it, but I don't know if he listened to it. I don't know either. He didn't plug it in. I don't either. I don't know, man. I'll plug it into his, right? Wait, that didn't sound right. Oh, okay. Um, in case anybody was wondering or saw on uh, Facebook, with me on, on Facebook, uh, yes, today is my birthday. We'll go ahead and get that out of the way. Huh? Oh, trying to figure it out. Uh, today is my birthday. Thank you. Uh, celebrate Josh Toberfest by buying somebody else a beer. Or if they don't drink beer, a coffee. You don't have the right input. You don't have an adapter. All right, don't worry about it. Garbage. Figure it out. That's his phone or your phone? Your phone has it, right? You have an old phone. What's wrong with your phone? Why are you using his phone and not your phone? Anyway, I wish you guys could smell it in here. It smells amazing. So, you know, it's good. Great stuff. Uh, oh, uh, Jeffrey says you should use Beersmith. With the software, yeah, Kyle has that, and that's Beersmith three will help you with your water chemistry. What Beersmith the third? They have the third variation of it, the version three point oh Beersmith. Anyway, that'll help with water chemistry. It'll help you dial in what you need for your style. Almost had it. Almost had it. Almost had it. Thank you. Look at that. <laughs> Woo! Woo! You know why I won't say anything? So this is what we said. This is uh, faded. Faded, uh, all mosaic. <laughs> all mosaic. Mosaic. I feel like mosaic is the uh, the. It was the it hop. Like it kind of came out of nowhere, you, nowhere, and now it's. I see you. Is it still the hop? Kind of. I think it's still a Hollywood hop. Yeah. I think it is. I think it's uh, Citric Galaxy and uh, Mosaic are probably the Hollywood hops. Is Hollywood that's, hops. That's, that's cool. what uh, us, what Garrison calls them. That's what that's what's in uh, Diamonds in My Mouth is Citra, Citra Galaxy Mosaic. All right, we're back. Citra Mosaic and Galaxy Hollywood. Don't hops. Overthink it. I like that. That's they're, what that's what Garrison calls them. They're, you, they're, they're the popular ones. Yeah, there was the uh, the Noble a, hops, and then you got Hollywood hops. Yeah, I like that. Here we go. I won't. I won't. I won't claim I coined that term. That's that was Garrison. That's cool. Now we just need to push it forward. Hold on, let me move my headphones to cover up. Oop, can't. I need I need thicker, thicker headphones to cover up my boss. <laughs> That's what happens when you turn thirty-eight. Damn, damn. Okay, so okay, we're back. 
refilled glasses. Yes. Faded. Faded. Oh, the new dropped. Yeah, this is our faded, latest, latest latest released, I think. Yeah. Well, that was three about three weeks ago. A good mm. tie in. Uh all mosaic double IPA. Mosaics. Now those used to be hard to come by. I guess they're well established now and Mosaic's probably one of the easier ones at this point. Yeah. Compared to what else we're trying to get. Yeah. So when you hear mosaic, what do you think, Schomburg? Does that ring a bell on any other beers? No. No, it doesn't. Okay. I think it paintings a mosaic. Well, this is a painting. And it kind of it paints your palette it with is. flavor. So what, this is the 5% with the same amount of hops. Uh, right? Similar. Yeah. it's a 5% probably has a little, little less hops in it, oh, okay. but not, mu uh, not much. Um, this is, but this is a double IPA, so ABV is a lot higher. So you're gonna you're gonna fish higher in your gravity, so a little more sweetness, yeah, uh, to it. That's why I like the dip as the most, because it's sweeter, as everyone knows now. Well, you're super sweet. <laughs> sweeter is better. Yeah, basic. 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 <laughs> I don't really get the whole basic thing. Everyone's basic in a way. I suppose it's okay. What are yeah. they doing? Is that barbecue over there? Yeah, I, that's that's, that's was... part of the pizza truck. That's oh. JJ. That's he's, he's working. He's getting his stuff ready for pizzas this week. Oh, that's awesome. already. Uh, oh, what yeah. are they, they smoke right in here. Uh, out, out, out by the food truck. Nice. We're gonna take a tour after we're done. Yes. Or we're gonna look anyway. I have cash. <laughs> <laughs> you ever thought about doing a food truck? A food truck? No. I'm not that hard a worker. I mean, you gotta work 16 hour days. Oh, yeah. He's he, he, always truck. busy. Yeah. Yeah. You're making you're making dough. I mean, he does a lot of prep, making dough and yeah. all the stuff for the pizzas. And if you want to do it right, yeah. it's gonna they're take. Not, they're not up until Thursday, and he's here right now. That's yeah. what I'm saying. <laughs> it's uh. The movie was it, was it Chef with uh, yeah the uh, Cubans yeah what's uh, uh, Iron uh, bro, uh, what, the director from Iron Man what's his name oh man I love, his, he's named Happy in the in Iron Happy, Man yeah yeah, uh, yeah. John Favreau Favreau yes Favreau. I, was, I kept wanting to say John Leguizamo he's yeah. in the movie though yes Leguizamo's in there with him he's yeah, a yeah, sidekick yeah, yeah, yeah and yeah. then what's her face Miss Universe what's her name Sophie so whatever Vergara? yeah no. is she in Chef. Vergara. Yeah, she's the oh, ex-wife. Oh, she's the wife. Ex -wife. That's right. The they, they then get back together. That's right. Which I think is great. Good movie. And then, yeah, and she hooks up with Iron Man. He's in it, too. And he just goes to Franklin just to hang out. Yeah. Yeah, movie. that was... Like, could, I was like, what? Yeah. yeah. You could tell that was that. It's like, I mean, yeah, worth making the movie right there. Uh-huh. Just that go paid for out. itself. Yeah. Yeah. Time-wise, for sure. That's a great movie, though. It's on... Uh, so one of the streaming things. It was on Netflix. I think it's on Netflix. I think though. it's on Amazon. It was. It's one. It kind of goes back and yeah, forth. Yeah. I've seen them. I think three or four times. Have like you it. really? Yeah. Hmm. I like it. Oh mm -hmm. man, that smells so good with the hops and the. Oh, what does that sound? Hops. That's the no, mash. You're getting both. Oh uh, yeah, we're still mashing. The mash. Oh, you're talking about what's in the air now. That smells. And yeah. with the barbecue now. Just yeah. The, oh, the aroma in here smells so good. Notch. Yeah, it's, it's top notch in here. You're smelling Mike right across from you. He smells good oh, too. Yeah, yeah. He showered sh yesterday. Showered. Yes. <laughs> no. This no. morning. Oh well, even better. Well, well, last night. Uh, Sylvia, once a week. Sylvia jumped on the stream. Hey to Sylvia. Mm. How are you, Sylvia? Hey. Sylvia, the beer fed mother on socials, and on. Uh, Sylvia, what's the name of your show? I, it escapes me. The Galactic Power Hour on. What's your buddy? It's your the drought the, in there. In drought. What is it? I don't know. Connection is wacky. Galactic Coast Power Hour, the radio show on Vinyl Drought Radio. That's it. Yes. Yeah, that's them. Cool. They do Thursday evenings. Oh, okay. So if you enjoy this podcast, which yeah. I apologize if the uh, connection's a little funky, the podcast will be up as normal here in just a little bit. So don't worry about that. All right, so how, how many days a week do y'all brew? Uh, we're looking between, so it's probably usually four, three or four days a week. But really? those are, but that's double batching. Okay. So that's going to be two brews a day okay. oh, wow. for three or four days. Wow. Okay. Uh, it just depends on the batch and the you know tank space, stuff like that. Okay. Uh, hazy weeks, we tend to do two triple batches and a single batch. Ooh. So that'll be, what, seven brews? So that's... Three and a half days. Okay. Yeah. Uh, and y'all, how big's the brew staff? Brew staff, so there's three of us. Okay. Uh, brewing. Uh, three brewing. Uh, Garrison Head Brewer is doing more head brewer type things these days. Yeah. Uh, but it's me, uh, Jeremy. Jeremy. Yeah. He's, 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 Jeremy. he's helping me out today yeah. while I'm here doing this. And That's then cool. uh, Adam. Uh, and they actually both come from St. Arnold Packaging. 
Oh, cool. And cool, they, cool. Uh, so they know, they know they're here. Say, Jeremy looks really familiar. It's like, I've, I've probably seen, I know I've, I've seen him before. I'm like, you look so familiar. I'm going to have to get good advice to remember who it was. <laughs> no, uh, they've can... been lost help. We were like, it was only me and Garrison for a little bit there. And yeah. then we had like, oh, yeah, we need more tanks and more brewing. And so we hired these two guys and they've been awesome. Uh, yeah. so Training them up and they know their beer and they enjoy it. Yeah. Cool. Well, you've got, of course, you got way more room to like as far as tank space and that sort of thing. Yeah. There's a people get cramped pretty quick at other breweries. You guys have not. That's not an we issue. Got some room. Yeah. We got some room. What's do you do y'all discuss the overall strategy going forward as far as like growth and. Uh, that's about my pay grade. Yeah, a little bit. Okay, just well, a little bit. Uh, but I mean, I can kind of see things going. You know, we're uh, so you can see we have our depalletizer up now. Mm -hmm. Got that wired in. Uh, we're gonna have our own can canning line here soon. Oh, cool. So we'll be doing that ourselves. Uh, and uh, yeah, that'll be fun to learn how to package beer. Okay. What uh, before when you were home brewing, what was your stylistically? What was your wheelhouse as far as like styles you like to brew? Oh, I just did. I actually saw. So I was. I was still getting into it. Like I said, I only. I did it like four or five brews, but like traditionally, I was like double IPAs were like what I went to, and okay. uh, just something like really hoppy, really you know, not too bitter. Though, like those double IPAs and the West Coast double IPAs weren't. Those kind of like the style I gravitated to the most. Yeah. Uh, early on, that but like uh, I don't know. I, I, Belgians, Belgian sours and IPAs are kind of what I like to drink these days. Okay. Uh, yeah. So I guess those days are kind of over. Your home brewing days. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> so the weekends I'm usually uh, I'm, I'm, I just want to sit down and do not not do much. Okay. But uh, you know, yeah. always thinking about brewing, always. And it'd be like us and, going home counting backwards from ten a lot, <laughs> all the time. Yeah, it's like I don't really do that anymore. I never did it. But. Or watch sports for that matter. No, I but I still want I still want to watch sports when I'm at home. Yeah. Hmm. Do you? That's all I yeah, do when I'm at home. <laughs> it, local team, yes. Nothing, not well, just for sure. the sake of watching. Yeah. Yes. Yeah. Yeah. Not anymore. We all, it's a thing. I well, don't have to get into that. No, no. All right. So, Spindle Tap. What? Uh, what have you guys? What do you guys got up your sleeve? What's uh, um, something? Give us something juicy. <laughs> <laughs> uh, <laughs> uh, we have a couple of beers coming out in October. Oh yeah. So a couple of hazies, a little yeah. something a little different. Uh, like a hazy pumpkin? No, no, no pumpkin. <laughs> no pump. No pumpkin ever. A hazy pumpkin. <laughs> no, 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 yeah, that no pumpkin beer. Oh my ever. gourds! <laughs> They're asking o, um, OJD, OJD. That uh, so that's Garrison's actually in Louisiana right now with Parish. I saw that. Yeah, that's so Garrison's there. They're brewing up a uh, OJD batch two double dry hopped. I think it's not gonna be exactly the same, but we'll. So, do you have a release date on that or a uh, being brewed today? Depending on Parish's schedule, it's three weeks from around this time. I would okay. imagine it'd be ready. I don't know. I don't know their. I don't know Parish's uh, dry hop schedule stuff like that. But yeah. we're like clockwork. So we're brewing five percent today. It's gonna be ready in three weeks. Cool. Like the next, like you know, Friday of three weeks from now. But uh, yeah, I know Garrison's in Louisiana right now brewing that beer. So okay. somebody asked so, soon, probably three to four weeks. I would say. I would imagine that beer's already gonna be ready for release. All right, Jeffrey asked about a brute IPA. <laughs> yeah. Uh, I I think Garrison was like, I want to be the first to do a brute hazy, but then like I think it's already happened. A brute so, hazy? Can you yeah. do that? I think so. I, I thought brute I thought brute beers were real like the clarity yeah. was the what makes a brute a brute? Is it the so, yeast? I think it's just yeast and carbonation, I guess. I don't I actually haven't actually had a brute IPA yet. And I don't know. I've heard they taste like hoppy water. Yeah. <laughs> well they're super like when you think brute, like like they're like just over carbonated hoppy water is what I hear when yeah. I hear brute IPA. Brute. So, a, but I haven't had one, so yeah. I can't uh, actually. I couldn't tell you I've had one either. Who exactly. makes a good one? Or who, who well, makes a brute who, IPA? Who put out a brute IPA? Oh, uh, Whole Foods. Uh, Whole Foods. Okay. Carlisle put one out. Did he? Yeah, I don't. Awesome. I've not tasted it, but it's it's out now. Hmm. Um, who else? I don't think we're gonna jump on that oh, bandwagon. Sigma. <laughs> I hear Sigma. I'm hearing Sigma. <laughs> Pete, my people. Sources say Sylvia. The sources say, yeah, I don't, I don't think we're gonna jump on that bandwagon, yeah. but you never know. Yeah, I, yeah, I don't know. It, I feel, yeah, there's always, I, it's almost like the, um, the pendulum is swinging too fast. <laughs> it's like because the, the pendulum has gone hazy. Well, yeah, West, juicy, West Coast, and then now to hazy, right? And the hazy, and people are like, well, well, now we got to come back with brute. It didn't take long. 
But I'm like, no, no, no. Let let the hazy yeah. thing kind of ferment for a little while. No pun intended. Indeed. You know, <laughs> let it really, you know, instead, yeah, before we go to the deepen. next thing, I don't mind, you know, it's like, sure, do them. Yeah. But don't expect it to be like, all right, everybody run over here and do that. Sure. Oh, yeah, push, pushing Brendan's brewing is big. That's when you get good new, good new stuff. Yeah, that's yeah. how you get it. <laughs> yeah, so, but I'm no saying, doubt. I don't think, I think we've just scratched the surface on the hazy stuff. It's like, oh, yeah. how many hot varieties are there? Hundreds? Oh, yeah. How many combinations are there? Thousands? We don't even know. What adjuncts can you throw in there? Has anybody done a hazy pumpkin IPA? Not yet. If you don't, if you don't know, now you know. <laughs> Probably won't be us. <laughs> people, I feel like pumpkins have gotten a bad rap. Yeah, they have. People have uh, pumpkin stouts have kind of uh, they've abused them. Well, yeah. I mean, there's pumpkinator. I mean, pumpkin spice is a meme now, right? Basically, it's just mm -hmm. like basically there's pumpkin everything. Uh, yeah, That's what I'm saying. It's, and you got, get it, you get it for a month, and then it's gone, yeah. and you got to wait around for another month. It's out you know, until next year. Sylvia wants brewed IPAs to die. Oh, oh, severe. That's very severe. Already? So. They're they're not even a thing yet. Yeah, yeah. They're, she, she wants them aborted. <laughs> oh my god, this has got really dark. I don't know. I so I don't I don't know. I think the the hazy thing is even it kind of. I think we're sticking for we're sticking with hazies. Yeah, as far as spinal tap is well, concerned. Well, even like hey, they're kind of is hazy and then juicy are kind of the two classes. I guess it's almost like uh, Meritzen and yeah. Best Beer. Maybe is that in mind? I, I think they're interchangeable names. Okay. I just would uh, say, uh, like milkshake IPA is like the offshoot of the hazy IPAs, like those you know lactose vanilla yeah. fruited hazy IPAs is like the offshoot. Okay. Yeah, it's so crazy that this stuff hasn't been done yet over the what hun hundreds well, it, of years. Well, it beers had. have been well, existed. It's just bad beer. It was bad beer practices, right? Oh, it was? Was, well, that's what. If your beer wasn't clear, then you were making beer wrong. Oh, really? For well, okay, so think about how, how long it was. Think, that? Of, think about the know. evolution of beer. Sure, go on. All right, you ready for this? Let's, I'm ready. Let's take a walk uh, back in history. Learn me. All right, let's School go. me. Let's go back to the 1700s. Oh, that far back. No refrigeration. All right. Right? No. No, no, um, yeah. No real knowledge of yeast. It's just mountains and caves. Not even. If like you're lucky. If you're in the Americas. To get cool. If it, you want something cool, you mountain cave. Oh, lagering. But we oh, hadn't okay, gotten yeah. that gotcha. back in the day. You hadn't gotten oh, that yet. No, okay. This is pre lager. Sorry. Pre lager. So you think like America's like yeah uh, George Washington is doing porters? So it's all fresh. No, 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 it's not. That's the it thing they be. didn't they didn't know what it was just like. Yeah. That's why you did porters because it would cover up funky kind of whatever. Okay. Right? Okay. And so it took a while for pilsners like the the whole pilsen Germany yeah. pilsen Czech or whatever. Mm -hmm. It it took a while to discover that yeast that could thrive at that low of a temperature. Okay. And so there was like people like monks smuggling the recipes for how you do a Pilsner. Mm -hmm. And mm -hmm. when Pilsner took over, it was like this new thing. Like, oh, you can do beers that you can actually almost see through. They don't yeah. taste like soup or whatever. I mean, yeah. there was some good English style. So they were popular Pilsner. for a while. Well, then, yeah. Well, then it took over the world. And then yeah. you have your mass-produced American light lagers and whatever. And that mm -hmm. was, that's just, that's beer. Everybody sure. knew that as beer. Sure. And then craft revolution, right? Boom. Yeah. You know, and then that's when the Ambers came out and the Browns and the the Let's scouts and the porters. Yeah. We, what year are we in now? We're in the nine, early, late 80s, early 90s. Oh, yeah. Usually jump. they're Hefeweizen and the stuff like that that were cloudy, but yeah. we yeah. jumped from the 1700s to well, the 90s. People were okay. like, okay, yeah, that's kind of basically okay. how it goes. That makes sense. Well, no, we 1800s was Pilsners. Oh, okay. We, they took 18. over down to like 70 18. breweries nationwide. So for several hundred years, Pilsners ruled the land. Is that what you're saying? It was a rapid takeover, uh -huh. and then they just got... Just That's crazy that it took it took craft beer to bring it back. That's yeah, great. no, well, pilsners are an amazing beer. Like yeah. a good craft pilsner, crisp, hoppy, crisp, clean. Yeah, you know, I love them. Sure, I don't know about y'all. Mm -hmm. mm -hmm. Andrew, are you? I'm uh, not much of a lager guy. I like a good like Oberfest yeah. or something like that. Yeah, like a good oh, best yeah. beer stuff like that. But the beers. lagering process, but like Hans, mm -hmm. I, never, I did a, I did a lager once and I was not a fan. Not, home brewing, what not so much. But I'll drink them yeah. occasionally. But yeah, hmm. but I'm saying. There's a big difference between what they became in the 70s and 80s. Okay, that's American where we lagers. are. Mm -hmm. And then when Kraft was like, no, nah, check it out. This is check how they're supposed. This is like this is how Pilsner's supposed to. Who are we talking about specifically? The same Adams. Did what? Was, did a lager? Well, they that did the their first Boston one. Lager. No. Well, this, is that the first craft brewery that really got big? No, because they're giant. Anchor. Too. Anchor was the first American. Oh, I've heard of that. Where is that one from? San Cal Francisco, California, yeah. San Francisco. Oh, okay, yeah, yeah, yeah. oh yeah, California right Common, okay. yeah. Fritz Maytag, really? That you say Anchor was the first? Yeah, I didn't know he, that. Fritz Maytag bought them out, saved the brewery. Yeah, coin or uh, uh, he uh, 
copyrighted the term steam beer, right? Anchor yeah. Steam. You yeah. Have you ever had an Anchor Steam? Nope. Nope. You kind of missed out now. They bought. They were bought out by some conglomerate. Oh, now. were they? Yeah, That's which is a shame. I'm sure. The Honeycomb, so I think so. Yeah. Or partially, most oh, like fifty no, percent or something. All like right. That. But anyway, he was the first. What happens? I is he still with us? I don't know. He's no old. idea. He's old. No. Now. Oh, yeah, I imagine. There was a cool um, documentary on Amazon Prime. Yeah. Back in the day, like ninety three, that had him on yeah. there, and it was like him and the seventeen people that worked at Anchor. No kidding. And they were on some. It was like huh. the first. He was taking him on some field trip to go see hops or do something. Yeah. And he was kind of old then. <laughs> I think he, he's related to the Maytag, uh, like blue cheese, and then the Maytag. Oh yeah. Refrigerators. Refrigerators. No and stuff. He's, he's in that family. Wow. So he had a lot of money. Sure. Bought it, and then the steam beer was because they put the uh, cool ships on the roof, and the steam would come up to cool it down. Oh. And then the, they got the California common yeast, and so now that you can call it a common style beer, huh. but you can't use the steam beer. And that's where the steam came from. Was the okay. cool ships? And so it was a lager yeast fermented warm. Yes. Yeah. Which is the opposite of a Kolsch, which is an ale yeast fermented cold. Yes. I think. I believe so. Eh, we'll uh, go with it. Cool. Right. Cool. Uh -huh. Yeah. Yeah. Because uh, cold, too cold, shut it down, right? Cold and warm are, I guess, uh, relative. Yes. It's like 65 to like 70. Yes. Like <laughs> So within the realm of what that yeast can do, right? Yeah. Um, so anyway, where were we at? Oh. We're yeast. in the 90s. Yeah. But what I'm saying is Ambers. that there were some European Pilsners, like uh -huh. Pilsner Urkel before it got bought out. Okay. It's kind of the original. Okay. Yeah, I remember that. It actually means right, Urkel means original, the first Pilsner yeah. from back in the day, 1820. Oh, yeah, that was one of the originals, right? Urkel, Pilsner Urkel, yeah. Pilsner is original, original when you yeah. translate it, is oh, original really? Pilsner. Oh, okay. Yeah. Urkel means original, apparently, uh -huh. I think. Huh. We're going to go with it. Again, sure. just like the Colts. Let's do it. Let's go. <laughs> it's for the sake of conversation. Yeah. Um, but anyway, uh, what was I saying? Oh, well, okay. So, Kraft did now. it. Trends, blah, 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 blah. Yeah. Now, you know, we don't, like, people are still making Pilsners. We're finding out different variations on Kraft Pilsners. Mm -hmm. Now we're into the hazy stuff, which is, like, the newest... Kind of that. I think it's really no, the next. Well, yeah, non-traditional. Yeah, I guess kind of stuff. I think with the water chemistry, I think that's. I think that's what should say is it makes it a step in evolution, craft beer evolution. Sure. Yeah, that's what I think. I'm gonna say water. Fair enough. Water because uh, it's something that's based. Well, on there's level. also that, and then I, I haven't even talked about it yet, but the dry hopping process, mm -hmm. uh, biotransformation, is a big part of uh, these beers. Go on. So you're actually yeah. uh, adding hops during fermentation. So a lot of like West Coast IPAs, I think, were traditionally dry hopped after fermentation was over. Mm -hmm. Uh, this uh, fermentation is still going on when you add these hops, and you're oh. actually getting uh, biotransformation reactions going on, oh. which actually, uh, you know, a lot of reactions with the hop oils and the yeast actually create that permanent the haze combination as well. of the yeah. whatever the offshoot or whatever yeah. the byproducts of the fermentation yeah. are meld together. That's kind of like a, I guess, buzzword of the style is during you know biotransformation dry hopping is yeah. basically dry hopping during fermentation versus just letting it finish and yeah. then dry hopping. It's like fusion jazz kind of thing. It's like, okay, so the yeast is there and it starts to freestyle and do its own solo. Mm -hmm. Then you throw in the whatever the hops would be, yeah. the, the base, and they're yeah. on top of it doing their own thing. But then those notes, mix and there's together. like, yeah, those oils, those anything, those chemicals into the hops, you know, yeah. they start interacting with that yeast and the yeast will actually do stuff different yeah, while, really. while it's working. Yeah. And so that's the thing is like with, when you talk about evolution and layers and all that kind of stuff, it's like, you know, pre, pre boil hot, what do they got? Pre. Pre hopping, what do they call that? When you like before the boil, first hop, first first wort hops, first wort hops, okay. yeah, okay, yeah, just just throw them in, yeah, yeah, and then you've got dry hopping, which is post, and then you got during fermentate. I mean, there's just it's like yeah, it all has, yeah, it. like everything, all that just stuff. seeing how things affect each other at certain times. Yeah, we don't even know. We only scratch. That's what I'm saying. Yeah, so, and like that's most of the biotransformation science is anecdotal. There's no actual. Uh, there's not a lot of papers on what actually happens. Yeah, we need some nerds to get in on that. Oh, yeah. That's what That'd we be need. cool. We need some serious nerds, <laughs> nerds to get in there and, and, and analyze what's going on with. Get off the video games and start analyzing. I think it's more of a geek. I mean, geeks, not video nerds. games. That's the same geeks thing. Geeks are nerds. Geeks are not smart. That'd be more of a geek. So I we think. need nerds. We need, yeah, we need nerds. nerds. We need beer nerds. Yeah. Hops. Nerds don't play video games, they Hops. make video games. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. They're above it. Yeah. <laughs> like you Neo. know what I mean. They're like Neo above it. Indeed. In it and around it and above it. So what is that? What is the barrel program? Oh, Sylvia. Oh, she wants to hear about your barrel program. Okay. Okay. So we, it's it's growing. Yeah. Uh, uh what about what? What is that? Three, Three six, six, twelve, nine, and 11, 11, 
No. 11 racks with two barrels. Yeah. yeah 20, 22 barrels right now. But yeah. we're going to grow. Uh, I think have plans, do blends and stuff. Like yeah. uh, just cool blends. And, you know, sometimes if the base beer is good too, though, just, just pull it out of the barrel and serve it. Yeah. Uh, like that's that man. Beer has no just, limits, right? Yeah. Just, that's it. And I mean, we're just on hops. It's good. Then you talk about barrels. Oh, yeah. That's and each other, barrel that's is different. It's like, yeah. yeah. Different barrels. Yeah. And you got to taste every barrel. And, you know, that's always fun. You have to. You have to. Yeah. That's <laughs> science. That's science. Yeah. That's quality yeah. control. Yeah, exactly. And then, like, exactly. you come out your And then, if something, you know, I want this barrel and I want a little of this barrel and you know, blend them. And, yeah. What but, ratio? Or that, or even that, or just pull the barrel because the barrel tastes dang good. Yeah. Ah. Speaking of mixes, what are the. Do you guys have any beers that mix together to make another beer, right? Is uh, that a thing? Nothing. I have. What are the What are the secrets? Privilegedly, go on. Mixed uh, barrel aged Derrickman, really? which is our uh, uh, Belgian double. Okay. A little bit of Crudo, which is our Russian Imperial Stout. Mm, it, uh, it tastes pretty good. Really? Yeah. What do so, we call, What do you call that? Uh, I don't have a name for that one. What's the ratio? 50-50? 50-50. I don't know. I just Ooh. I pour it in a glass. I'd privilege nice. brewer, perks. brewer perks. Yeah. I'll just get what, it doing is blends. The, is that the best brewer perk? Uh, it's pretty I, nice. Yeah. Uh, Air conditioning is pretty nice. Uh, yeah, well, that's that, that doesn't uh, hurt brew <laughs> days like, at all. I feel like anything with honey in it is going to go well with something else, right? So, honey, so my uh, girlfriend likes to do boom hole. Okay, what's that? Which oh, is boom uh, half boom town, half honey hole. <laughs> that's what I'm talking about. <laughs> <laughs> Honey booms. Cool. So, uh, boom, <laughs> boom <laughs> hole. Mean, we can talk about it. It's hey, a podcast. Go get yourself <laughs> it's, it's, a boom it's hole. Really, and then you. It's really. You're it's open. Gonna like we can it. talk about anything. You can say. Well, is Honeytown's not as much fun to say. No, <laughs> boom hole. Boom hole should be. Boom hole's fantastic. You need to make a t-shirt. Get market you, it. They, they, they're teachers, so they, they made stickers that's and awesome. cut, and we, you know, but a boom together. hole. We have a, yes. I have a boom hole sticker. That's what I'm talking about. So, so yeah. literally, it's just half the boom town and half the honey. Yeah, town. And, and whenever oh. they come in, the bartenders oh. know them now, and they'll just oh. pour a half Mike, boom town, half honey hole. Mike, you would love yourself a boom hole. <laughs> I'll tell you that right now. Boom holes are for. And they've done that with my. Looks like a kid. Boom hole. <laughs> it's not too bad. Every day. It sounds odd. Well, I think anything with honey is going to be, you can mix anything with honey and something else. It's going to be good. Eh, I mean, okay. No? So here's the thing. What type of honey? There, you talk, oh, What honey are we talking about? Yeah. Is it clover? Clover honey? Yeah. Oh, clover. Okay. But then again, where did you get it? Is it say clover. Okay. That, that, it's that, honey. Yeah. A Texas. Well, Texas, Texas clover we honey. We know that honeys are different. Yeah. Pears it's fine. It's honey been though. there. No, it's not just honey. You can't just say oh, it's all honey. honeys. There's lots of different honeys. They're Depends different. Where the bees are. Depends what flowers there. Yeah, it's all about them bees. Yeah, where you I been? Had no bee? idea. Well, I was over here. This guy was over there. We mixed it together. Oh, that's crazy. It's still honey. It's just like those yeast and those hops. Yeah. And when you add it and where you add it and yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah if you had yeast to the boil though, you'd kill it. That's true. <laughs> I guess can't. there are limits to win. <laughs> there are limits. <laughs> There's some limits. <laughs> Quick, yeah. There's no limits. There's a few limits. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. I mean, you got to boil it. You got to not add the Except for it. these limits. Yeah. I'm saying. Like, in gen- yeah, I, I understood. Yeah. yeah. Being, Yeast blending. Be an asshole. <laughs> yeah, <I'm fine>. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> Keep me in check. I need it's it. Funny. It's like, finally. He's been talking to me. <laughs> so I clock in on the uh, check in on that um do you have a, f- a favorite of the uh is that like asking you to pick a favorite child a little bit but uh do it <laughs> uh, I, i'm always partially houston hayes it's just the original and it just sure yeah has a good combination of the galaxy hops which i think have a bite to them i like that pepperiness pineapple it has more of a pineapple kind of flavor to it yeah um diamonds in my mouth is pretty good too like I said, those Hollywood hops, which is actually the next release. Yeah. It's going to be El Hugo, which is yeah. heavy hands, but we added uh, pineapple and mango purees Ooh. to that. So it's a little, actually like a little juicier nice. than uh, normal. Yeah. That sounds delicious. Yeah. yeah. It does. It's our first fruited, it's our first fruited one. Uh, uh, before, we haven't been fruiting these beers at all. That's all that flavor has been coming from the hops. hops. Sylvia, yeah. just, yeah. Sylvia just got excited. It up. She's got like, sweet. Yeah, I, think, I think Wednesday's the pre sale opens up. Do you hear that Wednesday, uh, Sylvia? Wednesday. I think it's gonna be just announced on Facebook. Like tomorrow so, or the week the week from tomorrow? Uh, Wednesday. So tomorrow. The nineteenth. Tomorrow. Yeah, tomorrow's the pre-sale. Boom. Nice. Sylvia, Mark, set your alarm. I guess by now. <laughs> yeah, so, yes, yes. It's an alarm, I think. Set yeah. your boom hole. That and, uh, and that and diamonds in the mouth. Diamonds, <laughs> diamonds in my mouth. Diamonds in the mouth. Diamonds in my mouth. Either way, it's in my mouth. But it'll be that that'll be the release, this next release. 
Um, heavy hands. I love the artwork. Yes. Mike Tyson's punch yeah, out. One great. of the she, top top five greatest NES games. Nintendo. Oh, absolutely. Of course. Top, what are your top five NES games? Well, I'm, see, I'm partial to like the original Mario. You know, Mario Brothers. Super Mario Brothers. Yeah, not Mario um, Brothers. The original. Mario, Super Mario Brothers. Number uh, like, one. I love Excite Bike. Oh, that's. Yeah, I'm, I'm gonna. I have some you would. You probably ne- never top heard five. Of. Like, or Street, Mount Rushmore. Yeah, top like, four. Mount Paper, Street Paper Fighter. Boy? Street Fighter oh, it's good, but not, it's not going to be top four. Street Fighter 2. Uh, Street Fighter 2. Street Fighter 2. That's post NES. Is I'm that post NES? NES? Is that Super Nintendo? It was on Super it was Nintendo. Super though. Nintendo and Sega Genesis. It wasn't. It was. I don't think it was, was on it, NES. Uh, NES 8 Zelda? Oh, NES. NES. Legend of Zelda. Uh, uh, okay. Well, Super Mario Brothers. Link to the Past. No, 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 no. no. You're yeah, yeah, Link to the NES. Past. I'm thinking SNES. No, I'm Link to the Past was NES. No, it wasn't. Are you sure? Yes. Because we're talking about the gold cartridge with the battery in it. That's just the Legend of Zelda. Oh, was that just and then, no? And then the sequel was Link: the Adventures yeah. of Link. It's funny that they said on Link. the cartridge not to blow into them. Yeah, did you, did you, that? Yeah, but you did it. You had to. Well, maybe you that was to. when they were brand new. No, I think it just you're not supposed to. Oh, yeah, everyone did it. They probably knew that kids had been eating like pretzels, <laughs> Cheetos, yeah. Cheetos. Yeah. Yeah. Whatever you've been eating is going to be on this. Yeah. Well, I think you. Well, Do you not blow gonna, into the cartridge or not blow into the? Was there an original Metroid on Nintendo? Yeah, Metroid. Then I think you just that's easy. No, I don't think it's easy. I'm going to say Super Mario Brothers, right? Go on. Legend of Zelda. No. Yeah. What? what? Legend of Zelda. Immediately no. How do you know? I, I never played. He doesn't that. play video You never games. played. Yeah. Mike Tyson's Punch Out. I'm going to yeah. put it up there. Yeah. Uh huh. And number four. That's a tough. Maybe Contra. Up, up, down, down, left, right, left, right. BA start. What about Classic. Galaga? Was that any? No, than, that's that's that's, a, that's more arcade. Arcade, arcade, arcade game first. Yes, yes, arcade game first. Arcade. It's fine. Arcade. It's a good, great game. Pac Man, great game. But Nintendo was not. I'm talking about NES, the original NES. Um, you could say Duck Hunt. I think is just because it was within the game. It, it just was, came it, with it. it just so came just with it. Nostalgic. Right? I think. I don't, but think I don't think it's actually yeah. good. You can't use that anymore. <laughs> if you if you put your old NES on oh, yeah. a, on a flat panel TV, it won't work. No kidding. It has to have a tube. Really? So, yeah. I so didn't know that. You have to keep a tube TV around. I have one. The classic any the the, the yeah. they have the new classic like the yeah, new yeah. NES with the games built yeah. in. Yeah. Yeah. Get one. Sixty bucks. They're out there. I've seen them at Target. They have a Super Nintendo as well. Yeah. And do they come with the guns? No. Super Nintendo's gone. Super Nintendo's gone, but then Nintendo. They'll, they'll do it now. again. They're, they're, there's yeah. too much money on the table. They, well, they put a lot. They didn't put enough out the first time of right. both of those, but this right. one they put a lot out. They have a bunch. I did yeah. Yeah, Sonic the Hedgehog was great. I was on Nintendo. 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 I was like, you, that's you why, and that's why I got the first, the first PlayStation. Yeah, everybody's got N64. Oh yeah, I got play, Yeah, me too. I was like, no, on PlayStation. That's true. I did the same thing. The sports games were better on PlayStation. Thanks, Fu. That's what I think. That's probably true. But N64 Thanks, was Fu? great. My friend Fu got me in. Oh. I know, but Blitz on 64 was pretty Fu. good. Yeah. Oh, Blitz, and then uh, Goldeneye. Oh yeah. Uh, Bond. Yes. Hey, y'all want to come play some Bond? It's like twenty guys there waiting for their turn to get in there. Well, <laughs> that was how uh, Street Fighter was. Yeah. Super Street Fighter. Yeah, that was on Super Nintendo. Mm-hmm. All right, mm-hmm. so. What I didn't say a fourth. Uh, um, you said Contra. Maybe Contra. That's a legit number. Let four. me think about this though. For me personally, it would have been like WrestleMania Challenge. <laughs> that was On my Nintendo. Person. Yeah, because you could be the Ultimate Warrior. You fan of wrestling? Uh, I was not growing up, but actually, even more now. Really? I, I understand the, uh, the storyline a little bit more. Oh, yeah. Yeah. Versus did you see just, Hell in the Cell? Did you see what Brock Lesnar did? I don't. I didn't <laughs> he know. He kicked down that door. He I came heard good out things. Uh, no, I don't, I don't watch it. I just keep up. Yeah, yeah. It's not as good as it used to be. Let's be honest. Well, it is for someone that's supposed to, you know, someone that age that's I, twelve. I, get yeah. the app and go back and watch just the nineties. Watch I, the Monday Night Wars period. I, I was more of a Glow fan. Myself. I didn't appreciate. It. I just watched that Netflix Glow, series Glow, and I actually like appreciate wrestling more after watching that Netflix show. I mean, did you watch original Glow? No, I, no. Oh, I, I love it. I'm that's that. what I watched. How old are you? Twenty nine. Oh yeah, a little. Bit. I don't remember a little original. Bit. I, I think. I well, did. you didn't have access to it because we had Ozark Mountain Wrestling. Right? But I did watch the Netflix Colorado show, Kid. and the Netflix show is really man. good. Yeah, it's great. I haven't watched it. Yet. I need to. Yeah, you. It, made, it gave me appreciation for wrestling that I never had before. Yeah, sure, dude. Wrestling, pro, it's there's something about it. Like, I'm, yes, it's okay, still about fighting. Yeah, yeah no one's a nine. It's not acting. It's a TV show. Yeah, awesome. Yeah, enjoy it. You know, I don't know. Something about that pro wrestling. Yeah. Growing up, I wanted real sports, so I just, I just didn't. I, not, once I heard it was fake, I was like, "Oh, I'm not." I'm over this. Yeah, yeah, you, you, I guess so. I did you too. You have to be in on the joke. You have to get yeah. past that. Yeah, yeah you do. Now, and now, as like, I'm older, I am. Yeah, but yeah. back then, I was like, "No." Yeah, that's. I kind of graduated too after, like, in the 
early to mid to the later nineties, you know, real into that money, the Monday Night Wars sure, era sure. when it was huge. It was like WCW, WCW versus yeah, WWF, yeah. and it was like outpacing even Monday Night Football. Was like I wish uh, we had those ratings. Yeah, like the, both of those shows were killing Monday Night Football, mm-hmm. which is crazy when you think about it. But then you discover UFC, and you're like, oh, that's how it really goes. It's real. That dude just got his tooth he kicked got, out of his face. Yeah. Did he just get <laughs> and then this down, little dude from Brazil just came out. in and choked everybody. Did that fight last four and a half hours? Yes. <laughs> <laughs> they just rolled around. I don't know what happened. Oh, no. That's real. That's Dan real. Severinson. Yeah. Dan Severn. Just Severn. It wasn't Severinson? No, just Severn. You're no, trying to Severn. give him an extra syllable because of that mustache. <laughs> you have to. <laughs> <laughs> he was a badass. He was. He's man. still a badass. He looked like a bear. Yeah. Like he was a, like, a, like a, a human like a hair, bear. Hairless bear. <laughs> Like if you shaved a bear, that's, that's what it looks seven. like. That's what they put out there. Like, get out there, bear. Yeah, just shave him down. It's a dude. That's a dude. No, trust me. He's from Russia. He's from Dagestan. It's fine. He's a bear. Dude. Mm-hmm. Seriously. Yeah. Anyway, I'm just saying. Get it on it. Um, what are we talking about? Oh, Nintendo. Yes. Number four. Mm, Contra, I'm gonna put up there just collectively. That's fair. I'm gonna put up so there's no denying. Super Mario Brothers one, Legend of Zelda. What I say the third one was Mike Tyson's Punch Out. Yeah, punch out, yeah I beat Tyson. I beat yeah. Tyson. I had a, yeah. I had a code. So the guy before Tyson. Of course you had a code. Can you, can you uh-huh. all name trivia? Can you name the guy before Tyson? Mr. Dream. Nope. Nope. Was that after Tyson? That was on the no. That was after when Mike Tyson when the license ran out and they couldn't use Mike Tyson's name yeah. anymore. Yeah. Just the regular Punch oh, that's Out. What it became. They brought in Mr. Dream. Mm-hmm. Mm-hmm. The guy before Mike Tyson was. I don't know. I don't remember. I. Super Macho Man. Super Macho oh, was that what, and he did the that's what he was called? Yes. And uh, yeah. Anyway, so I had a code where you could be 100 no going into the Mike Tyson fight. Uh, so okay. I just kept beating Super Macho Man and then fighting Tyson. And the code would change every time. So if I could find it somewhere, I'll, I'll hook people up. Ooh, <laughs> oh, Tetris. That's I'm gonna make that. No, point. I'm not. No, see, Tetris, here's arcade. I mean, me. arcade I mean, or Game Boy. Even. Or Game Boy. Yeah. Game Boy was That's where Tetris was really it, that handheld. It Game was Boy? famous on on, but it started on Nintendo. I mean, it's all right, but I'm gonna say I'm gonna say that's it's a, a Game Boy. Point. I'm gonna say Game Boy. It's a valid that's point. Game Boy. Uh, no, Game Boy. It blew up on the Game Boy. It that's did. yes. I played it for hours on yeah. the Game Boy. Hours, hours. Um, you agree with that, Mike? Tetris Game Boy. Yeah, more so than NES. Yeah. That's what really came into its own because you could sit there in the back of the car. Oh, yeah. Can you get past 100 Road trips. lines? Road trips, yeah. man. Yeah. And then when it got dark, you had to get like the add on thing with the light and the magnifier. <laughs> the magnifier, yeah. I had that. Yeah, 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 yeah me too. Light boy too. or whatever they called it. You had your nice case and all your games. One. Yeah. yeah. Good. You had yeah. to have like, it's like a shoulder over the shoulder kind of like case. You like, had to have yeah, like 70 yeah. pounds yeah. of batteries because <laughs> they would run out so super fast. Yeah. And then I got that Genesis because I mowed yards all summer long. Is bed. that how you got it? That's nice. And I got the yeah, the, the smaller one. I thought I was super, I was the first one to get the smaller Genesis. Mowed, mowed yards all summer long, hundred bucks, threw it down, got it Kmart, boom. Nice. Give me that Kmart. Genesis now. And then Joe Montana Football ninety four, the first one with an announcer. I played the Oilers. I didn't I didn't even think about Houston. Impressive. I was living in Arkansas. Dude, that was serendipitous, right? You wanted Warren Moon on your team. Warren Moon was great. Yeah. Aldo Hey Gre- with Jeffries. Al Del Greco there you go. was Al the Del kicker. Greco, yeah. yeah. Mm-hmm. Bruce Matthews. Yeah. Uh, who was the uh, who was the receiver? Main receiver. Jeffries. Um, yeah, Ernest Givens. Oh, yeah. Ernest. Uh, who was the main running back? Who's the slot? Uh, Alan Pinkett. Uh, Earl Campbell. 94. I don't, uh, I don't know if Earl Campbell is still there. 94, 94. No. Alan Pinkett, huh? Alan Pinkett was there. I don't know who the running running back was. But you could Mike play, Rozier. You could still oh, play with Barry go. Sanders. Here's what you could do. Yes. You could put it on 15 minute quarters. And then yeah. you could just hand it off to Barry Sanders. <laughs> you do that spin move, which is sure. B. Because you know yeah. the, the, the Genesis had the oh, three buttons. I just thought of another one. Spin, spin, spin. Nobody yeah. could tackle you. Yeah. And you just keep running you run laps around the and, and run out the clock on the entire <laughs> quarter, yeah. 15 minute quarters score. You bring up football games, Tech Mobile. Tech Mobile was great. That was Super Nintendo. Yeah. Well, no, no, it started on Nintendo. Um, Super, Super Nintendo. Te- yeah. well, Super Tecmo Bowl is Nintendo. Yeah. The Tecmo Tecmo Ball. Nintendo. yeah. Uh, you know, I never really played that much Tecmo that's on NES. That's the thing. It was just as great. Mm-hmm. And that's the one that got popular. Some people would put that up. Bo Jackson. Oh, absolutely. Yeah, you couldn't tackle Bo Jackson. Jackson. No. Yeah. And so you just run around. Yeah. 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 But, Up and down the field. But that Joe Montana. Joe Montana, football, 94. And it didn't it didn't really sound like a guy. It would talk like, I don't know, it was weird. But, and, you know, sometimes it would say the name. Like, it, if it, it wasn't Joe Montana, just say quarterback. But if oh, Joe yeah. Montana, back for the pass. <laughs> that's the, the crowd. Yeah, that's that's like white noise that's crowd. Yeah. Yeah. yeah, yeah, that's all it sounded like. <laughs> and it would show the graphic. You'd, yeah, you'd spike the ball. Where? 
the same four people in yeah. the whole audience. <laughs> yeah, it was, it was great. Just waves and yeah. then that one cheerleader. <laughs> it didn't change much for a while. It was the same for people no, forever. <laughs> yeah, yeah. But that was a great game. Joe Montana football. Well, I miss the NCAA football. games. Yes. Right. The football. Oh, yeah. Stop mm -hmm. making My favorite thing was where you got NCAA and Madden and, and you, you could draft your guy. Yeah. yeah. I started for the Texans, man. I went to, <laughs> Ar I went to Arkansas did. State. <laughs> Oh wow! Arkansas State moved up in conference. What position did they you play? They did. I was quarterback, and but I was a running. I was a mobile quarterback. I was actually a running back, and then I put myself a quarterback. Ran that wild hog. <laughs> Just destroyed people. It was great. Why, why are you calling it the wild hog at Arkansas State? Because it's the wild hog. They can change the name, but it was wild hog. What were what is Arkansas State? The Red Wolves. Red Wolves. The Wolves. Yeah. The Wild Wolves. Wild it, Wolves. Huh? Which we should have called it. Mm? Dummy. Make it your own. Eh. Quit. All right. It's a, it's mooching the off the bigger stage called Wildcat, but it, it was made famous at Arkansas. Sure was. Darren McFadden, Run DMC. I really need to go. Wasn't it the Wildcat that made it famous? No, 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 because that sure. was Gus Malzahn, who's right. at Auburn now. If you say so. Super stand up guy. <laughs> <laughs> Typical NCAA coach. <laughs> Most of those guys are turds. Have y'all noticed that? Well, they do the smart thing. They, they turn it up and then they leave just. Somewhere else, you don't get punished. You take all that money. <laughs> I mean, what's a turn it up? What's the Ohio State and guy? get out before Urban it Meyer? crashes Meyer. down? Yeah. Uh, what's the uh, dude at Alabama? Um, uh, Saban. Saban. Well, uh, he was USC. He was. I think it's the most famous one personally. Is it turd? P. Carroll. Yeah, it just goes. He's the one that turned it up the most. I don't know. He cheated and cheated and cheated. Knew he saw the writing on the wall and took off to the NFL. Is he more turdy? Didn't get punched at all. Is he more turdy than the team than Bobby Petrino? Oh well, I've heard that's Bobby a whole Br different thing. Like the whole Arkansas, <laughs> they did, deal. did a lot of different things. Yeah, it's <laughs> they, different. Yeah, they're like, oh, I see you, and I'll, I'll raise you. Yeah, hold my beer. <laughs> yeah, watch yeah. this. I got it. Intern on the back. Sure, cheating on my wife and my kids on a motorcycle. <laughs> on a motorcycle. Yeah. That's a little Wreck. more personal. Still, though. than what Pete Carroll did, I think. Yeah, he just. I don't even think we know the half of it. What Pete Carroll did? Yeah, a lot of it was covered up. Yeah, absolutely. Yeah. They were like, oh, and good, and forgiven because of where they are. Yeah. Eh, so, it doesn't matter at this point. Exactly. Oh, I agree. Just I mean, pay them all, man. Didn't they take Reggie Figure out Bush's, how to pay them all. Didn't they take his, his Heisman? Yeah, who cares? I'm just saying he that they took paid. it, right? He's Reggie paid. Bush's Heisman? Yeah. Heisman? Yeah, they took it. Heisman. Ooh, that's a, and, and that's he, what you should oh, do. Oh, Heisman. Get the Reggie. Heisman. Wow. That's not bad. Nailed we need, it. We need, one, we need one here in the lower. Earl area. Campbell. The Hazeman. the Hazeman. Well, we know. We already did the Earl Campbell. Oh, did we do it here? High knees was the Earl Campbell. Oh, okay. Did Okay. What other Houstonians are close? Could be the Hazeman. Oh, Peterson Andre did. Ware? Yeah. Could be the Hazeman. Did, and Adrian Peterson didn't win one of the. He was like runner up twice or something. Well, he was Oklahoma. No, no, no. But nah, still, Houston. he's from Houston, though. Yeah, from Houston and played in he Houston. He lived in Houston. Lived in. I mean, Where did he go to high school? Uh, Who cares? I, he went to OU. Know. Yeah, he went to OU. It doesn't matter. Who cares? He's excommunicated yeah. from Texas legend. Bye. Are y'all Bye. Y'all are Longhorn well, fans? Bye. Bye. Y'all are Longhorn fans? I yeah. am. Go big red. Yeah. Oh yeah, he is. Go big barn. Unfortunately, I mean, I'm an Aggie, so yeah. So you're like, but yeah, <laughs> yeah. The whole thing's messed up. Let's be honest. <laughs> Why don't A and M in Texas play? Let's, Money. Let's figure that out over beers. No, it's well, it's, we it's Texas' fault. Everyone knows that. But, I don't yeah. know. Longhorn Network know. is the that was the, big that's the biggest. Thing, that's right? the downfall of stupid. the Big Twelve. The whole thing's stupid. It is stupid. Nebraska should still be Big Twelve. I, if only we still come to Texas and I could see him all the time. It's that, ridiculous. That game was one of the best games I've ever been to in my life. It's good. Which one? The last Nebraska A and M game. Yeah, uh, that was there. Three, it was like three and nine, but it was I had so much fun. <laughs> mm -hmm. Yeah, <laughs> me too. I, I went just to make sure I could see him again. Yeah, that game was awesome. Before they were gone I say bring forever. back the Southwest Conference. That'd be fun. That'd be fun. Well, it wasn't Rice in that conference. <laughs> I mean, we'll tweet SMU that. too. SMU too. <laughs> SMU, yeah. Hey, whoops. S SMU, <laughs> SMU. If they would just let Speaking them do their nerds. thing. No, if they would let them do their thing, like yeah. When, when, oh yeah, let them do their <laughs> thing. <laughs> the players. The yeah, trans, the trans A and M and the yeah, yeah. Just do that when uh, what uh, what's his name Dickerson? Yeah, uh, he's like, name? yep, Eric, cheated. Eric Dickerson. Yeah, <laughs> that's the that's the thing. Ass. Just cheat. It doesn't yeah. seem to matter. You're not going to be punished. One, for it. pay the players. Period. No well, matter yeah, the school. Yeah, I understand the problem. Matter. I understand the problem. You got that means you have to pay every player that plays college sports, right? No. Well, how do you avoid that? The Percentage of revenue paid. brought in. Oh, well, that, re okay, that, that you'll takes get down the percentage of revenue. Ninety percent of the sports that we do. Yeah, that's what you mean. Pay your percentage of revenue. So you'll have to pay the players percentage percentage of revenue. Yeah, and the football players will be put it in. That'll never uh, the risk. I mean, the risk of risk of injury compared. Yeah, that's true. Put it in a retirement account. Well, in that case, isn't cheerleading should be number one? Is that the highest? Cheerleading is the highest. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Okay. 
Yeah. Well, then again, we talk about revenue. There There's probably no isn't revenue a lot there. of that unless you go to Oklahoma or something. No, not a popular gymnastics school. No, gymnastics. Uh, maybe per play, maybe per yeah per participant. I yeah. celebrate myself. That's fine. I'm sure they sell out their stadiums. They do. They do. Exactly. They do. They're good. Yeah, they are. But whatever. I'm saying football brings in way more. Of course it does. Yeah, it pays for all the other sports. Sure. So that's what sure. Pay the football players, maybe the basketball players, but definitely the football players. You're taking too much money out of the people that that want it the most. The yeah. people that are already rich. It'll collapse eventually. If only. Man, we're talking about some weird stuff on the show. That we're beer was right. good. <laughs> Thank pretty, you. That beer is delicious. Good. Delicious. It. You drink all your Schumberg? I'm working on it. It's a little stronger. Than <laughs> uh, it's 8%, you said? That's 8% one. As a, a, a dipper, it's a, a I mean, dip the hazy is just kind of drink really smooth. Like really? it's like that no bareness sure. aspect, yeah. and then Schomburg's a slide of frame guy. He can't. <laughs> yeah, I can't it. handle it. I Pace can't yourself. wait for. I can't wait for this fruity one. I'll tell you that. <laughs> Pace yourself. What's, what's the fruity one called? Well, with the pineapples. Got excited. In the... the mango. Yeah. I don't have that one. That's uh, that's carbon. Oh, it's coming still. soon. Yeah. Yeah. You yeah. have to wait we a little longer. So it's it's over there already. Little tasters. I think I could tell. Let's do that post show. Yes. How about that? Yes. Possibly. Okay. It, I mean, another. But, yeah, possibly. We don't want to. I feel like we're in a zone right now. Just talking that about some really good awesome. stuff. Awesome. What were we talking about? I'm so excited about it. <laughs> Football. We, we were. Today. I'll let you guys taste it. Okay, Yay. cool. Anything else we need? Okay, events and things like that coming up. What do you got? Anything special? I'm not in charge top? of that, is the problem. So, um, but uh, there's got to be signs. Let's pull it up on the, on the Facebook. Yeah, yeah there, there should be some Facebook up. stuff. I, like I said, I, I like the beer. That's what I'm. That's what I my focus That's your is. Specialty. That's what I like to do too. I'd rather not deal with like the marketing and the stuff. Stick to and what you branding. know, right? Yeah. Stick to your I, I like making the beer. Yeah. yeah, it's fair enough. I like that. Listen, it's that, yeah. That's it. You need all the parts. Yeah, you need the. People. Oh yeah, I, d- I definitely appreciate the people who want to do that stuff because I don't want to. <laughs> no, that's, that's it. No. <laughs> that's it. Oh, Schomburg's leaving. You said later. <laughs> I just oh, saw it. Yeah. <laughs> Same by the Jeff. Oh, yeah. Bye, He's Jeff. going to class. No. Uh, let's see. Events and tap room. Hold on. We're going to pull that up real quick. But there's also people who don't want to be back here. So, the, Brewing's <laughs> hard work. Have you ever, like... Oh, yeah. It's, it's 80% oh, clean. Like, Jeremy's oh, 80% picking up all the cleaning in the, oh, when you're doing yeah. the podcast. <laughs> we had a, you know, caustic acid the tank and got to run Sani. Prep that for knocking out. And so, first water, then acid? First uh, caustic. Then caustic. A, caustic, which is like a detergent. Oh, okay. And, and then you can put anything you want in there again. And then acid, and then uh, we'll sanitize okay. before like, we do that. Okay, so when you say the word caustic and then acid, those sound like really extreme. Oh, yeah, they're yeah. they're not fun to deal with. Really? They're so, dangerous chemicals. You know, but we, did, we diluted them. But, okay, well, yeah. I've got this, you know, an idea for a, a craft beer horror film, right? The head brewer. Yes, I've talked the about this head before. brewer. It's a brewing beer with severed heads. Uh-huh. <laughs> head brewer. <laughs> but I feel like somewhere in there... That Caustic. mash that would be a pain in the ass. Yeah, he's, he's hairy. <laughs> a head. Sure. Well, you'd want to boil the heads first, I you think. Shave so their heads, soften for sure. them up. Yeah, soften them up. Shave the head. Yep. Maybe pull the teeth. Oh, I think you get a little calcium in there, right? Are we talking about calcium? <laughs> you, a little extra calcium. Never. Heard where, where, where you want to add the heads? Hmm? You'd add them. Yeah, I have no <laughs> probably idea. Probably with like probably in, in the boil or in the, the mash. Boil for sure. Oh, okay. The okay. Boil? Oh, the, boil for sure. And boil the skin out, like basically the skulls when you're done knocking out. I guess. Maybe. I, I have to think about Sounds all gross. This. I really need to think <laughs> about this. Gross. Like, if you were to brew a beer that's with pretty, a head, pretty, nasty. pretty dark. Maybe you dry. <laughs> maybe you dry head. Yeah, I don't think we're talking about a PG thirteen movie here. Is the it's word, a ho- no? Thing. You know what? I, that's the one thing that bothers me a lot. Yeah. Now that yeah. Halloween's co- okay. So here's one thing about Josh Toberfest. Go Being on. My birthday. You get to now. Here it is today. You get, happy birthday, Josh. Thank you. You get to jump into <laughs> pumpkins and Halloween yeah. and scary movies because we've only got like six weeks to Halloween. Uh-huh. So there's so many good scary movies to watch. This is when you start. It's time. Before now, too hot. Too early. Mike, do you like scary movies? Do you like scary movies? So, yeah, a, I gotta give it some thought. Like, like how if I were to brew a beer with a head, what, what flavors are you be? trying to extract from that head? <laughs> what about pumpkin heads? No, no, no. Can we just no actual heads? Tone it down. Let's make it what, PG. What? No, no. Let's make it PG thirteen. Mo- PG thirteen horror movies are the worst. All they right. don't give you everything you want. You want some TNA. You need your two. <laughs> you need some boobs. You got to have boobs. You got to have just like one or two. A virgin. Yes. I mean, are you going for like a gore porn kind of thing going? No, 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 no not gore not porn. Quite. No, no, no. Okay. I, no, I don't. Okay. No. Like, no, See, I'm not no, trying. No. I don't know. Yeah. I want a well told story. Yeah. Some plot. And story. slightly feasible within you know if you're if you're drunk enough. When you're talking about severed heads. Yeah. As pl- plausible as severed heads. Like, could yeah. Be. Mm-hmm. Represent when somebody would add a head to a beer. 
and like like it can ha- like one shave I mean, the head for sure. Right? I mean, sure have- they're crazy, but maybe this could work. Is that you're like? Yeah, maybe the re- they're insane, but maybe it's good. Yeah. So it had to be a pop no. homebrew yeah. competition. Like, uh, okay. Because the <laughs> one is when he goes to work for a macro brewery and uh-huh. he's getting heads from the insane asylum, which makes people turn into like zombie type creatures. Nice. And then it goes off the rails with like the subsequent sequel. Sharks and tornadoes. Like and the what? fourth one won't even be related. <laughs> Fifth one, he comes back. And then the sixth one, he's in space. Fourth one's not related. I love it. Fifth one. Yeah. The, and then the sixth one, he's in space. completely abandoned space. the first, the other four. No, no, no. The fourth one is where you completely, like, it's like Season of the <laughs> Witch, like Halloween Season of the Witch. Yeah. It doesn't have anything to do with anything. Yeah. It's and good. then Going six, six is, he's in space. Okay. The, and then the, seven is a reboot or Head Brewer versus. Well, now know, we've gone back to Halloween where they've completely abandoned the other right, ones. Right. And just the first and one. Just is. get that money, man. Yeah. No doubt. <laughs> that just, looks good, too. We watched the original Halloween the other day. With the kids? No. I was gonna say, are no, you he's crazy? The wife. Do you want to ever sleep in the same like the room alone ever again? Well, we do. So no, we didn't watch with the kids. <laughs> oh, good. There's boobs. Oh, are there in the original Halloween? Yeah, that's how you know who's gonna die. Oh yeah, it's not Jamie Lee it's, Curtis's boobs. She no, never, no, no, no. Yeah, but that's the thing. Like Halloween, remember how they broke it down? Like if you, huh? Oh yeah, take a picture. Yay! Um, you remember how they uh they broke yeah. it down? Like if you had look, if you just right. Uh huh. So, do drugs? Yep, you're gonna dead. die. If you have sex, you're gonna die. Yeah, it's the common myths. If you're common... African American, you're gonna die. Dead. Yep. <laughs> it's like those are the rules. <laughs> yeah, always the first people to That's die. African American, then the the whore, then the druggie, and virgins can't die. Virgins, Everyone they survive. Yeah, they always survive. Yeah, yeah. But scream. Yeah, right. scream. They broke mm-hmm. it down. They yeah, they did. broke well, the fourth wall. Yeah, agreed. Anyway, so yeah, I, but there were boobs on Halloween. That's uh, me. Oh, are you about to have to? No, no, no that, that's that's text. Okay, but anyway, the second Halloween, the sequel. Yeah, this original wasn't the sequel. The, this is the new sequel. John Carpenter's involved in all that, right? Of course. With this new one, yeah, it comes out yeah. in like two two weeks, or three weeks, three weeks. Mm-hmm. Anyway, Head Brewer, but head brewer. caustic and acid. That's definitely somehow. a part of it. I mean, uh, they're they're dangerous chemicals. If, you gotta be careful. If eighty percent of it's cleaning. I think in the second one. Okay, so here's how it breaks down. Mm. Here's how it breaks down. Again. Okay, so it's a homebrew. It's a guy like Mike actually inspired me. Yeah. So it's, it's it's a guy like Mike. You know, it's real approachable he homebrewer. Yes. yes he, <laughs> he's bald already. <laughs> huge melon. So, Perfect candidate. So that could be your like your target is bald people because they don't have to shave the oh, head. Exactly. That's exactly. true. But so it's he's in a homebrew club mm-hmm. or he moves to town. His next door neighbor. Homebrewer, it's like, oh yeah. man, that looks awesome. But it turns out the homebrewer has a temper. In a homebrew club uh, opening scene is where that the head brewer kills the guy that wins the homebrew competition, who gets to go to Oktoberfest or whatever. Uh, blah, blah, blah. Uh, right, and that's how uh-huh. the whole thing starts. Go on. That's the opening scene. Homebrew competition with the homebrew club. The guy that wins gets a trip to Belgium or October. We got to figure sure, it out whoever, sure. whichever, whichever one decides to pay us enough to put us put it in the movie. Yeah, uh-huh. <laughs> yeah oh, absolutely. Belgian yeah. tourism industry or the uh, German. What either, either mm-hmm. way. And then we get into the movie where Mike moves to town. The Mike character. Yeah. Meets the head brewer over the fence. Gets into home brewing. Meets a girl at the homebrew club because you know it's a fiction. Yeah. So actually good. You know, good looking. <laughs> <at the homebrew laughs> <club. laughs> they fall in love. Figure out that the guy's brewing with heads. And then the chase is on. A little rear window. Right. Second, as well. so, so we think he's dead at the end, but not really. We mm-hmm. see right there post credits. Oh, he's still alive. Mm-hmm. Episode two, he's working in Austin now. Mm-hmm. Starts in Houston, then he's working in in Austin as a commercial brewer at a craft brewery because Austin breweries are much higher. Any, let's be honest, <laughs> they don't do background checks. Let's be so many of them. Yes, <laughs> and they're just they're, you know, and he's really good. Yeah, because when you put the heads in, he starts winning. Sure, that's what happened. But he needs more heads, and then. Our hero finds out, right? And so the chase is on. Then at the end, somewhere caustic and acid come into play. Uh-huh. Scar his face so that in episode three, he had to get massive plastic surgery to become the head of this co- massive global conglomerate brewery and go to the insane asylum for the heads. I Cause love I, it. I, I, guess, I can hear it. I, I Where's the screen? I can see, I can see, I can see it. a screenplay. Yeah. Right. Right. Up. We got we to gotta, yeah. type it. Our best original screenplay. Yeah. So anyway, that's the head brewer. 
perfect time of year to talk about it again. No doubt. But we're de- definitely getting after. after. Yeah, I mean, credit all sorts of dangerous stuff in yeah. breweries. So there is, <laughs> yeah. So and at the end of the of two, he gets thrown also into the boiling wort. Ooh. Somehow, sir, wort. Sometimes, Ooh. though. Mm, ouch. Maybe, that's, maybe it's a dry hop. Lesson. But there may be little Easter eggs where like they win at like GABF or <laughs> our World Beer Cup or something for that's this weekend. Uh, dry. It is. Yeah. yeah. They uh they win for dry psycho. Dry psychoed uh, here or something. Anyway, that's it. Think about times. that. Don't be scared. I like it. Yeah. I like it. All right, it's well, not right. the most far fetched movie. <laughs> no, that, not right? at all. <laughs> that sounds like an amazing B movie. That's what makes, it, that's what makes <laughs> it scary. Amazing B movie. That's what makes yeah. it scary. That's solid. Yeah. Feasibility. It's all be possible. Right? I'm in. Yeah, that's what made Jaws so scary. Exactly. You know. Yeah. Oh, happened. don't show him for the first movie, basically. Yeah. Like through the most of the first yeah. movie. Yeah. Could happen. What's he look like? I don't know. Halloween could have happened. There could be a crazy dude that kills sure. people. Uh, that was supposed to be a different mask, right? Originally, I forget. Yeah, it's all another podcast. Indeed. All right, we'll wrap it there. All right. Any Woo. last words? Not, uh, not in like the horror movie. <laughs> <laughs> this is part of it. <laughs> We're fine. I, I uh, don't have much more. Okay. Well, good job today. Thank you. Thanks Thank for you. thanks for uh, being Woo. on our show and uh, taking your time out of all your busy brewing and oh yeah, hazy beers and all the hops. How many pounds of hops have y'all gone through, like since you started, like really? Oh wow, up? I couldn't even tell you that. <laughs> it's a lot. A lot. Right? Oodles. Oodle. Oodles of hops. Mm-hmm. Sounds oodles, like a good oodles kids and game. oodles. Sounds like a kids oodles. game. Oodles, oodles of hops. <laughs> a lot though, and a, they're all a lot. and they're delicious. And you got more coming out. And of course, Always. Yeah. Um, and they got the barrel program, so things just on the horizon. Spindle tap, just y'all are killing it. Mm-hmm. I appreciate that. So, it's thanks. humbling. Well. Keep it up, man. Yes. I, I love doing it. Woo. Good. I love that you love it. I love that. You, I love that. I love that you love it because it's like, I love that I'm really enjoying what he's doing. That's Word. meta. Indeed. Do you love that? Deep. I love that he loves what he's doing. It's like one of those things you always hope to be a part of, but you never think you're ever going to be a part of something like this. And you then know? it's yeah, taking off. Dude, y'all are definitely. Mm-hmm. You're like, um, you're on that. You're like tip of the wave, tip of the spear. You're the pioneer. It's not oh. what I expected things to be when I joined up. Just ride that way. That's because it's really been only been a year and a half. We've been yeah, you start, the day it happened. You yeah, started. Uh, yeah. Yeah. Cool. Yeah. Just, just ride it, man. Uh, can't leave now. No, you can't. <laughs> you just got to work. All right. We'll wrap that. So for Andrew, for Sean Berg, Mike, any last words? All right. Well, thanks everybody for listening and or watching and uh, come by Spindle Tap Thursday, Friday, Saturday, Sunday. Yeah. Food right, truck. Right now. Yeah. Food truck. For right now. Pizzas. Pizzas. I think he does some hazy beers. Hazy beers. He does good uh, times. Yeah, good great place to watch a game. You got oh. a big old big screen. Big old screens everywhere, and just oh, yeah. a cozy, uh, cozy tap, tap room. room as AC, well. AC tap room. AC tap room. Uh, just a big draw for a lot of people. Yeah, Texas. Just <laughs> good old, just good times. Good times right here in town, off of Fifty Nine, Little York. What did we say the road was again? Hirsch. 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 Get here. Get here. Spindle tap. All right, everybody, thanks for listening. So uh, for Andrew, for Sean Berg, for TD Mike, my name is Josh. This is in a bruise. This is in The preceding has been a presentation of Stewed Productions. Yeah. Hey, everybody. Thanks for watching on the stream.